So we left our vigilantes. Uh, you all had descended. That's eh, not really the right word. Adventured into the Shade Burrow, uh, with accompanied by uh, Lynette Madsen, leader of the Hadlam Har Hadlam's Harkers uh, gang from the Bits. Uh, there's been a bit of a turf war between them and the slicers of the Shade Burrow for quite some time, and she wants your help in uh, finding their leader to settle a score, uh, in addition to locating the kidnapped uh, Priscilla Nask, the Pigeon Man's sister. Um, <clears throat> you fought your way through uh, a small group of slicers, interrogated one, and found your way into the underground portion of the Shade Burrow, referred to as the Warrens. You made your way through there, interrogated another um, individual, uh, a gnome, I believe? Yeah, it was the, uh, the or, pain or, doctor, or whatever he's called. Yeah, the pain doctor. One of the pain doctors. Um, I forget what name I gave him, but um, there was a quick thinking from... Uh, uh, the witch to impersonate this person and have Arco look like one of the uh, one of the slicers to get people past uh, a large group of them in the next room. You made your way into the next room, and with every with most everybody else being invisible and to some extent moving silently, you more, formed an ambush on uh, two lieutenants of some sort or you know people of higher standing within the slicers known only as the twins um and vigorously beat the shit out of them um however the commotion seemed to catch the eye of the people in the next room you quickly barred the door as quickly as you could and headed further into the warrens themselves the actual tunnels that connect various underground portions uh, of the Shade Burrow. And with that, you guys are moving. So, for the purposes of this, um, if you want, I can give you guys a blank page that you can draw on your own while I have the map on my end and you guys can make your way through. Would that sure. work? Sure. Pull a page out of your book, Cobra. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. No, I get All to feel right. what it's like. Yeah, it's not nearly as um, intricate, I'll say. <laughs> but... but I hope it's not as douchey as mine. Oh, I'm, no. I'm, I'm glad I'm... you at least recognize that you're what the a heck? dick move. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, I built that place to be fucked up. I mean, its, it's intention was of like to be a death trap. Okay. I mean, that's what the Minotaur is built it for. I, I don't know how to delete it. I'm sorry. Wait, I no, it. yes, I do. Haha! -ha! I'm smart. Alright, I'm going to have to kind of go back and forth on this a little bit. Uh, but let me just mark your starting area. Uh, it would help if it was a darker color. Uh... <laughs> I like it. There we go. We'll mark that as your starting point. Um, oh, I didn't see it. There, so I thought, like, what? The penis is the starting point? No, no, no. Down at the, the little square there. Uh, I thought the sad face for a second was the starting point. Let me make wow. sure. Oh, okay. I'm going to at least make sure that the scale on this is the right size for this page. What is going on? This is weird. What's going on? Only issue. Save. There we go. Tarkov did it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let me mark that. Move this. Okay. So. That white pulse doesn't work too well on there. Alright. So that 
will be your starting point. If you use the measure tool, you'll notice that it is Okay. Did What's you? Up? I was wondering if you set the grid so. I set um, I set the grid set, so if you measure each square will be ten feet. Okay. I mean, can you make? What's the? Because you can one. you can really quickly set it so just each square is, it like it actually has like so each square will be ten feet. Mm -hmm. But it should be like point five. Like we should have four like point like fives in there. And then you can shrink the tokens down, or do we not need tokens for this if it's just... It's not really a thing. I'm using a token on my end just to kind of uh, show myself... navigate it so uh, let me double check something because i think if i recall correctly ajax took devil's sight did he probably i think he did yeah he did take devil's sight okay so he has the farthest dark vision all right so ahead of you uh, so from your starting position It's going to take a second because I kind of have to hop back and forth between pages. Um, ahead of you, at 60 feet ahead of you, um, you see what looks to be a T intersection, and then it continues to go for about 90 feet. Uh, in um, which direction? Uh, to uh, directly forward ahead of you, so on the, on the um, page um, to the right. Going this way. Yeah. So 60 feet before it hits a T. And then 90 feet, it looks like it turns uh, to the north. This is going to be difficult hopping between pages, actually. So something like that. Roughly, yeah. Is this um, a dead end here? Uh, it is a, yeah, it is a dead end. It is a direct turn north. It's a 90 degree turn north. Uh, T, uh, um... Okay, when I said a T intersection, uh, I didn't mean like a, it's not a four-way, it's a three-way. It's a T with a one end going north. I see. Yeah, sorry. I was thinking of like a like a road T intersection. Or maybe that's just... So a T, but we just, I just... Whenever I think you're going to a T intersection, I, I would think, you know, you're... I've oh, always, I've always, I don't know. I was thinking that's called a four-way stop. So. Oh yeah, yeah, but just if I, when I'm thinking of T intersection, I think of I when I, I just think I'm always going down the. This oh. Thing. So okay. he's like, going this way. I'm like, oh well, that means it's going like that. Ah, uh, okay, fair. No, yeah, you got it. So. We stay token. I mean, uh, what what's it look like down here? Down there? Well, I know I just, I just mean like this place in general. Like, what's our? What's... It, it's um, it, it kind of alternates a little bit. Um, at, well, at least from where you are, you can see it's sort of like hastily carved out, and eh, yeah, it's like somewhat carved out. Um, not like layered bricks or anything like that, but it is a decently neat, um. Uh, narrow hallway rather spacious for madcap given his size but for some of the bigger members of the party uh a little cramped
does it seem like a place that like you said it's like roughly worked it is it i mean this doesn't seem like a place where you can set like pressure plates and stuff like that uh you can make an investigation check to see if um there's any signs of that From what you're looking at, pressure plates would probably be really hard to disguise in here. Um, you're probably more looking at, like, um, trip wires or uh, anything like that. Okay. I will levitate. All right. Uh, you use that a little bit during the fight. How long does that give you? Uh, I think I can do as much as I want. Yeah, while you wear these boots, you can cast a, use your an action to cast the levitate spell on yourself at will. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can just do it. All right. Yep. All right. All right. Well, I'll just as many times as I want. Okay. All right. So you were there. All right. What is the next direction you guys are gonna go? I guess we can peek down this way. Peek down uh, the T. All right. All right. Uh, you can see. For, uh, I don't need to be uh, driving this car. You guys feel free to, to jump in. Yeah. You can see for about... It goes north about 30 feet and then turns uh, to the right. Or no, to the left, sorry. Madcap, be careful if you look around the corner. I do not trust this place. You sound different, Ellis. Uh, yeah, I'm, I have a I have a backup mic. Yeah. Okay. Big oof. Yeah, I'm on um, BestBuy.com right now. Looking at new ones. Uh, I'll also say. Um... With the detail that you would have, because it is a shorter distance, you'll see um, that here, if you kind of move over to the side, you can see that there is um, kind of like, it kind of turns and then immediately starts going north. So it's like a boom, boom kind of thing. But as far as how far down it goes, you can't really see at that angle. Might as well look down this way. Okay. Uh, you notice it's a pretty similar um, angle as this one. And then it kind of goes up and around. And then that goes, oh boy, I have to uh, check how far that is. Uh, about 110 feet it goes. Um, Ajax will be able to point that out to you. It was down for about 108, 110 feet before turning north. And then at... Uh, Uh, about 40 feet, it turns uh, downward. Madcap, you want uh, you want me to look just around this corner to see if it opens into a chamber or anything, or should we proceed uh, straight ahead? Well, um, quite a little, I'm lost and at a loss, so uh, use your instincts and uh, we'll get through it. The witch turns on the spot, and she would uh, pass the others and just come to this corner. Um, look down that way. Yes, just just to just a peek. She wants to see if there's just more corridors or if there's any any open open chamber. 
Okay. Um, you look around, and it continues upward about 30 feet before going into a what looks like a four-way intersection that you can make out with your dark vision. And the path ahead goes uh, a full 60 feet before there is another burn um, to, the, to the east. So it goes north 60 at 30 feet is uh, an intersection, and then it turns uh, east at 60. Like that? Um, not exactly like that. More like uh, more like this. Ah, oh. like right here. That's a little too soon. Shit. Cobra. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I was. Help. <laughs> I do, honestly. I was. I'm texting my friend and parents. Okay, um, okay. What do you need? What? You're, you're texting your friend's pants. I'm texting my friggin' parents. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Gross. Okay. How's that? Kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, and then 60 feet like before this? it turns. Oh, I can see all the way down there? Yeah. Okay. I'm being a little generous with that. I would imagine you would probably have to go up to the next square to kind of peek around to get the full scope of that. Okay. Ah, it looks like it just goes on and on. Wait, hang on. Hang on. I have chalk. <laughs> Just for us, so just, uh, I'm, I don't know, I was going to think it would be interesting. Uh, I'm just going to put, like, um, the halfling letter A, like, right there. Right on uh, the square you're on? Right there. Oh, there. Okay. Okay. And I figure we can, you know, use this to help with our, our junctions. Um. You know, in case our characters start getting lost, they'll, you know. Yeah. Excellent. Well, it sounds like uh, when, the, when the witch comes back and says what it looks like, um, like, uh, well, sounds like uh, this place has a lot of twists and turns. Arco, my friend, be wary. There could be traps. We do not know what horrors this place contains. Okay, Klein, whatever you say. <laughs> Arco seems like the kind of person who just has, like, muffins in his pocket. Like, I baked the muffins. <laughs> <laughs> Muffin hey, 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 hey. I would 100%, like, go to an all-you-can-eat, like, breakfast place at a hotel and just take every single pastry I can. Oh, yeah. I'm... Every crevice of my armor it has something in it. A cheese Danish, I got you. Raspberry, nice. bam. A chocolate muffin, easy. Nice. <laughs> Anything. All right, uh, the witch will uh, stay close behind Madcap. I'll probably, I would also fall very close. I'm staring at my food and following them. So I see stuff going down this way. Uh, you see it turns around for about uh, 20 feet, so it goes to the edge of the map, and then ends in a, uh, a dead end. I write that. B and A. Okay. 
So the, the, this is B junction, and it's pointing towards A. Okay. The damn Madcap's already got better highway infrastructure than the United States. <laughs> Do we want to continue this way, or...? Uh, I think press on. Let's see what is at the end of this junction. I'll float down here, and I'm, I'm going to go get some cereal. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, Mad, Madcap, there is no cereal here, unless Arco has it in his pockets. Um, no, I... I mean... I have some... I have some frosted flakes, but... They're not very good, and you're kind of stale and kind of crushed. We can leave it as a bread trail, but I don't know if it'll work. Um, while he, while he stepped away, can Quinn look uh, just peek around the corner? Uh, at the corner where Madcap is at. Yeah. Okay. Uh, at thirty feet, it um, there is an intersection, so there's a path that leads to the right and to the left, and then it continues up to sixty feet, but then your uh, dark okay. vision ends. Hold on one second. So when you so each each square is ten feet, or five. Each feet? square is ten feet. Okay. So, so if again, you use the measure tool, so thirty you can see feet. I changed the yeah. yeah the calculation. Okay. So that's so that's ten, twenty, thirty feet like that. Uh, yeah, and at thirty feet, it should. Uh, oh, I see what you're doing. Off like, yeah. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So when I say if you have an intersection at thirty feet, it's on the yep. where your your line ends. Got it. I just need a little practice. No, you're good. Okay, cool. So let's go intersection. And then you said it continues on for 60 and fades out. Yeah. So that's yeah, 30. Dark vision, 40, just like it's a blur 40, at that 60. point. Okay, so like maybe like that, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's good. Although there could be an intersection here and I wouldn't know it. Is that right? Um. I'll say you don't at the edges that you're at. You don't see any potential uh, branch offs. It just it goes and the okay. hall just ends. You know you you, okay. you you know squint as hard as you can, but uh, the dark vision doesn't help. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, uh, Quinn is going to want to um, come around this corner and check for traps. Okay. Make an investigation check. Yeah. That is a eight. Looks good. You yeah. Encountered nothing so far. Yeah. Um, she will come to the intersection and attempt to look to the left and the right. Okay. To the left and to the right. I'll I'll also tell you since you did get closer um, what the path beyond does. Okay. But uh, let me do this first. So. Uh, to the right. To the right. It goes for 30 feet and then arcs uh, southward. Okay, so let me see if I can get this right. Ready? 10, 20, and south. Yes. Nice. See, I got it. Cool. And then to the left, um, it goes for 40 feet and then opens up into what looks like a 10, somewhat larger chamber. 20. Um, and then at 60 feet, um, at the edge of this chamber, uh, you cannot see beyond that. The chamber itself, um, Am I... I'll just, I'll just tell you what the, the squares are. So the chamber itself is, uh, two by three with, um, so two, two across, three down with the center matching the uh um the hall ah and then is there yeah a... you got it yeah does it go over here or no uh you would presume that but it I does because you it. do see um okay you do see an entryway but you don't know how much farther it goes without going further down okay cool and then what about uh, there oh, sorry so from here there is a wall and then it goes down i'm sorry what so uh, from the when you're looking at the right, it goes here. This line is a wall, so it doesn't continue this way. It doesn't uh, continue past forty. Got it. Okay, cool. Then it goes down. Okay, I can do that. Let me fix that. Yeah, you good. Uh, and uh, if Pigeon or Arco want to drive, by all means. 
just trying to keep it moving. I'm just trying to... <laughs> right. um, oh, and I also uh, was going to say how much further ahead it goes um, from the top. Oh, yeah. So um, from where you are at the center, at the intersection, uh, it goes up to 50 feet and then splits off uh, to the left and to the right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I would whisper to Arco, I would say, um, um, we, we must exercise caution, but it appears to continue on ahead of us, but to the left here, see if you want to look, there appears to be a small chamber, but I cannot make out if there's anything in it. Uh, Arco will kind of turn to you, and he may or may not have crumbs on his face from something, and he'll say, uh, Oh, it, it sounds like a good idea. And as he's saying that, there is food coming out of his mouth. Uh, and it's definitely hitting you in the face. So, uh, so you know. Go <laughs> taking a quick snack of his heart attack. <laughs> hey, hey, I gotta keep my strength up, okay? Right. Are you good? I'm a growing boy. Quinn would pull a handkerchief out of her pocket and kind of wipe her face and then kind of wipe the crumbs off of Arco's face and say please Arco you must say it don't spray it oh okay I'm sorry and as I say it more comes out oh, for, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, for the sake of Bahamut <laughs> oh, okay uh, and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll I'll just swallow it then uh, what are you eating what have you brought with you um it's like a dog where'd you get that get that out of your mouth <laughs> like frying my mouth open <laughs> spit it out uh um i just i found these on the ground and it just kind of i was kind of hungry i don't really know what it is but it, it it looked pretty tasty you found it on the ground in the underground in the in the in the cavern yeah, I, I wiped the dirt off it. It's okay. It's clean. <laughs> it's like in Skyrim where you like, there's like a drugger like lair and you find like an apple and it's, it's perfectly fine. Yeah. <laughs> you, just find, you just find some cooked pork or meat. Yeah, exactly. Um, Cobra, as you can see, I just uh, look to the left and the right. There's a chamber uh, to our left and you can see where the hallways go. Ah, Madcap. Yes, as you can see, there's a chamber. I think we should investigate, but what say you? Do um, I can, if you'd like, I can do that. I'm well, literally silent when I float. Is I'll kind of like float, so I'm like a few inches. I'm like laying like flat, but a few inches, but like below the ceiling, and just kind of float along the. the you're ceiling. like you're like army crawling. You're you're doing like uh like when in in Skyrim when people get glitched and they're doing the swimming animation in midair. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, That's all I can imagine. I'm sorry. <laughs> as, as, as Madcap approaches the threshold of this small chamber, I would put a hand uh, on his shoulder and say, uh, be careful. We should, we should check for traps together. Okay. Any guidance or does that help? Or... Yes, I, I, I will, I will, I will, I will help you look for trip wires and such. Be careful. We know we we know not what dangers this place holds. Okay, with a fifteen, uh, you will notice that at the threshold, uh, there is a thin little wire, <laughs> a few inch, only about an inch or so above, uh, the ground. Oh boy. Um, as to not make any noise, I would uh, telepathically. Um, tell Quinn, like, uh, or to, to wait. Um, and she does so. So I also, I, I write that at the intersection. Okay. Um, so I, I would float. Well, do I see, is there anyone in this room? Uh, as far as you can tell, no. It looks uh, very empty. Okay. I'll float above and come down and, and look at it and see if I can trace the, the tripwire to anything. Okay. Um, I will say... 
Give me another investigation check, but I'll give you advantage because you've already identified where the trip wire is. It's just it's a thin wire. 12 is fine. Uh, I had to get a 10. So you look, and then uh, coming up the north side of the wall, you can see a... You follow the sort of shimmer of that wire um, uh, up the side of the wall and across the ceiling, and you can see... Um, hanging above the ceiling. And this chamber has, uh, the ceiling is a little bit higher in this chamber than it has been in the rest of the, uh, uh, the, the pathways. And you can see, uh, the wire is holding up some sort of ceramic jar by the looks of it that is, like, directly above you. And I, does it look, uh, does it look like it has, like, an open lid and that it's meant to pour or it's meant to probably fall and shatter? Looks like it's probably meant to fall and shatter by the looks of it, because the the ceramic jar does have a very small top to it, almost like a, almost like a yield kind of beer jug. You know what I mean? Um, like a stein, and it's and it's corked. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want to take it off of the. Actually, I'm gonna. So it's, it's like so it's like a wire that's holding this up, and it's like kind of like like. It like, looks like it's dangling, and the the wire is meant to uh, pull over, like pull a release, and the it's whatever's holding it is going to drop. Um, I'm gonna grab the the ceramic jar, so I'm okay. I like, have a good grip on it, and I'm gonna tell Quen to hit the to trip the wire. Okay, so Matt, Matt, Matt kind of floats up to it, grabs the handles on the side of the jug, and telepathically says, "Cut it." Uh, okay, uh, Quen would approach the threshold, kneel down, uh, and with her dagger, she will cut the wire. Okay, you do so, you hear, you hear a and the jug then, gravity takes over, but, uh, with you ignoring gravity, uh, manage to hold it. It's actually surprisingly light, too. Um, you're expecting it to be, like, filled with liquid or something like that, but... No, it's actually very light. I will float down with the jug, um, and I'll. Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, I was wondering what would be in it. Uh, looks like it was meant to drop and shatter. Um, it's very light, so it could be a gas, which means I don't want to open it. But um, about how how big is it? Like, I mean, like a two liter bottle or smaller or. A gallon jug. Probably a little bit bigger than your average two liter, yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, I don't know if we want to hang on to it and uh, find anything. Arkham could just chuck it at him. Yeah, I, I don't, I'll fucking throw anything. Let's go. Okay. Uh, for posterity's sake, Arco, if you want to uh, uh, mark it down on your sheet somewhere, uh, you can put. Uh, ceramic jar filled with poison question mark uh okay let me can i add that to my equipment real quick yeah if you want <laughs> go right yeah. ahead kind of loop it you kind of loop it around to your belt and keep it nice and secure so it don't bang on anything uh, is there a similar one on this side uh you'll have to make another investigation check to, to look above the door and see a big jug Oh, um, look at above. No, it seems like that was the only one. <laughs> that was snarky as hell. I loved it. <laughs> no, no. I, I, my order of operations was off. It's fine. Um, Remember PEMDAS. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. God, bane of my existence. But yeah. Uh, okay. And since people are now in the room and the chaos has stopped, um, Let's see. Measuring out. From the threshold on the other side, uh, it continues ahead about 20 feet and then moves um, to the south and then continues forward somewhat. You can't really see at the angle you're at. Let's see about that. Um... No, it's a, it's a wall here that goes down like that. Kind of similar to uh, this one here, just at a different angle.
So wait, so it goes for for forty or twenty or. Yeah, you got the measurement right. Uh, no, it's uh, one square shorter. Oh, sorry, you're measuring from the uh, from the end there. I was measuring from the the inside. like that yeah yeah well we can continue on you doing all right jake you haven't really talked much i'm more focused on something else i'm doing sorry okay eating no, I'm trying to pass class. Okay. <laughs> what, what subject? English. Oh, that can help you. Yeah, I need to write a postmodern short story. Oh, oh that's geez. easy. Uh, I know. I don't. I don't think that's easy. Good luck. <laughs> well, I will say one thing: it, it's easy to make it uh, unnecessarily pretentious. Yeah, and I'm really good at that. So. Okay. I'll probably be playing more in a minute, though. So. All right. Okay. We'll, we'll let you know if anything really important happens. I mean, I can hear you guys. I don't know. Okay, so from where you're looking, Madcap, uh, at 30 feet from your position, uh, it then curves upward. Yeah, there you go. That big D20 is rolling like shit. I'm gonna stop using this thing for now. So, where are you moving next? Your mom's house. No. <laughs> wow. You wanna, I come over. Joke. Joke. I mean, there's an extra bed, KK. You're always welcome. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's not a very comfortable bed, I can attest to that. Oh, I mean, you could also sleep on my mom's bed. Nice. They'll get divorced eventually. I'd rather you. Uh, I'd rather you come here. Wow! Wow! That was just that was heavy there. You really threw that one out there. He'd rather have you be his dad, his stepdaddy. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh. Anyways. Uh. So at the point Madcap is at, it goes up, uh, to here, and then splits off into either direction seemingly connecting over here. That cap would go to here and to his neck. Faces through the wall. <laughs> yep. That's one we'll that. we do that now. Homer Simpsons into the wall. Classic move.
So Madcap never actually saw this intersection, so it'd be up to if Quen recognizes this, uh, you know, given our, our approximate distance traveled and whatnot. Did, if, Madcap, did, Mad did Madcap die? <laughs> I just had to move <laughs> Madcap no, back and mark down on the map. Oh. I was going to say, it's like uh, Minecraft chat log Madcap suffocated in a wall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't know that Captain Cast melt into stone? Yeah. <laughs> Spell that rarely gets used, but it's always funny when it happens. Okay. So. Well, it's, it's up to if Quen recognizes that this is the same intersection, just from a different angle. Uh, do you want to roll something, Justin? Or. Oh! I'll say. I mean, especially it's... like, yeah, like spatial awareness. It seems like we're headed in that direction. You know. I'll give you. I'll give you the choice: uh, history or survival. Okay. So either raw, me either raw memory or survival instincts. Oh, let's go instinct. Eleven. That's fine. You guys haven't gotten too far in, so uh, an eleven is just enough. And you're like. Uh, that seems right. You kind of retrace your steps, kind of thinking about how far you've traveled. Uh, seems like this is, uh, the intersection you saw from, uh, earlier in. Uh, and since you are right there, um, it goes to about here and then turns up. Uh, and if Quen peeks around the corner, uh, never mind. You can only see that far out. I would say Madcap would come to here so he can mark this. Okay, so and while you're doing that, uh, you can see it goes to here and then curves up. Okay, so sorry, I was I was typing my message. You good? So, oh, so I just zoomed in. You can tell, um, how far does it to the le uh, west does it go? To there, and then it curves up. Cat's being whiny again sleeping on the couch all day and now that I'm talking suddenly it's all about you I'd say um it seems like we're doing a, a lateral sweep of the area it's thorough and so we'll, probably won't miss anything but we could be wasting time well I do like to be thorough Ajax this whole time is kind of trailing behind since he has the furthest side ahead and also trying to keep an eye on where you guys have been. And he just looks around and goes, Yeah, doesn't look like we're being followed just yet. I was in a place like this many, many years ago searching for a tome of ancient knowledge. These places can be treacherous, but if we keep our wits about us, we will succeed. Sorry, Quinn. I, I was distracted. I just, I, you know, I had to send another telepathic message to my parents. <laughs> you have parents? Yeah, do you remember, we already talked. One's a level uh, 10 druid, and the other's a level 10 um, ranger, right? Because I can just call that stuff, right? Uh, I should bless them for help. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Does the druid live in the grove? And is this a fictional druid? 
What does this druid say to you? <laughs> what does the druid mean to you, Bad Cap? Is the druid here right now? <laughs> do you see the druid in the room right now? It's okay God. if you do. Let us know. Wow. I think we should go left. It's like a good idea. Because I'm pretty sure right and up and up and right connect to each other. And they probably don't go anywhere else. We'll float on down. Okay. Um, oh boy. Let me do a measurement real quick. Uh, so Madcap cannot see down here unless he ha wait no Madcap you have the goggles on right? Yes. Okay. So with between you and Quen, uh, get to about there, and it seems to continue on, but your vision ends right around there. This one seems to go for quite a while. That means it's the right way. Or just to put in one of my my hallway dropping trap. In the slums? No. <laughs> no. I think that was the one that cooks you at the end, right? I don't remember. Oh. All I remember, I remember is... Silona lost uh, some nice boots to acid. Oh, yeah. Oh, was that the one where you, you jumped in, but I put the glass pane there and you slapped against it? And That might have been that one. No, nah, she just failed to check because the glass oh, yeah. <laughs> the glass pane warden um, got on Dimitri's shoulders and we fucking swung across and smashed through it. Yeah, yeah I just failed to check. So I'll float on down. I'll, I'll look for traps along this hallway. Okay, Take my time. make investigation. Uh, up to the point that you are at, and looking a bit further ahead, you don't see anything that is obviously trapped. There really aren't any um, carved pieces of stone to hide a pressure plate lift with, and you don't see any... Um, wires or anything like that so far. Uh, let's see. Okay. You get to 60, and your vision ends. What the fuck? <laughs> I was going up, and I got to, you know, where, like, um... Like, if you have it selected, you have, like, your color, and then the, the fill, and then there says, like, regular or whatever. So I got up, so I was under that, so I stopped recognizing, like, that it was clicked, and, but it, like... It was still drawing? Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Can't delete it. Oh. I got it. There you go. That's how everyone is still going. Fucking slow down, bro. Okay. And then as you make the... I think it's... Let me double check make sure. I think it's 20 feet. Uh... Yeah. And uh... About 20 feet ahead. Uh... It then curves uh, to the east. It was a long one.
Um, yeah. Yes, I'm glad that we explored the path behind us. It's less of a chance we'll be surrounded. Check. All right, and then at the corner there, it goes uh, your full vision at 60 feet, and kind of before it kind of fades out, you can make out that there is a wall at the end here, and it goes um, to the north and to the south. Do we just follow it to the north? I mean, isn't that the way out of a maze? You just keep your hand on one wall and eventually it'll lead you to the exit. Are we trying to find an exit or what are we doing down here? I know we're trying to get away, but are we actually hunt, like hunting the guy? Do we think the guy's down here that we're looking for, the, the white dragonborn? I think so. Madsen goes, uh, it's possible, either that or... He, pat he used this way to move to their next safe house or something like that. Hard as to say. As Madsen speaks, um, Quinn kind of jumps. She's startled. She goes, oh, fuck, I forgot you were here. <laughs> That's good. It means I'm doing my job and being quiet. <laughs> you know, for someone with two axes on their back, you're pretty quiet. Well, they're on my belt, technically, but... I mean, you can... She is wearing leather armor, and she is, um... Moving with a decent level of caution and, uh... Precision. It's actually pretty impressive. So, you see a way forward. Which which way are you going? Up to that. Okay. Um. You can look down this way. It goes to about sixty feet before your vision ends, but you don't see any obvious, like corners or anything like that. Uh, and then up here, and then it does that same kind of, like, quick corner turn. Any reason you're not letting him in here? We did this in the ass. Yeah, Cake, why are you not letting him in there? I didn't, I didn't hear my dog at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He, no, was, he was at the door and I just didn't hear him. I'm just, just fucking with you. We're not buying this dog story. We know it's your pet chicken. No, chickens are gross. I actually hate chickens. <laughs> we've already, we've already, it was clearly established how oh, yeah, he was the same as dislike of chickens. Hmm. <laughs> well, then you'll be glad that, to know I had some buffalo wild wings last night. Oh. Hell yeah. Wait a minute. The most wasteful way to eat chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. Cake, if you hate chickens, why did you want to play an Aarakocra? I don't think they're chickens, they're, technically. They're just, they're just sentient chickens, dude. Preposterous Aarakocra aren't real. Yeah, come on. They're just... I thought we've established Aarakocras aren't real. In this setting. Don't be ridiculous. For the no, glory of... <laughs> no, no, no. Aarakocras are a myth created by the government. All Aarakocras <laughs> are... are feathers glued to dragonborns, Okay. They try to trick us. Aircockers aren't real. 
they're they're lizard folk who really really want to believe that they're birds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that also sounds about right. It's funny because I made an executive decision uh, in world building over the break um, that the reason I ban people from playing Aarakocra in my setting is because they don't exist anymore. That's funny. Yeah. So I'm glad that came. I'm glad it came up in a joke. Well, it's just that I mean, obviously, only dinosaurs evolved into birds. Dragonborn evolved into Aarakocra. We just haven't had time enough for that to happen yet. Yeah, exactly. Everything leads back to birds. Exactly. Just like how everything keeps evolving into crabs. Exactly. Hey, Cobra. Everything's either evolving into crabs, or they're returning back to jellyfish. Yeah. Jellyfish are going to fucking rule the world. People don't understand. No, squids. Watch out. Cephalopods. Return to monkey. Cephalopods. Return to monkey. Return monkey! To monkey. <laughs> I've got some bad news for you, Cobra. Yeah. We're all out of Aarakocra. <laughs> would you no, take... How are we all out of Aarakocra? Would you take an Aarak an Ari pep Pepsi? <sighs> I hate you. This is good. This is a good attempt at a, at a dad joke, Ellis. I appreciate it. It was good. No, no, no. That was really funny, actually. Uh, I just, enjoyed that You one. had to... You, you lost the commitment partway through, <laughs> and... <laughs> I just... It was I just... was good. It was just self-loathing. It was too much self-loathing <laughs> to get through it. <laughs> thought oh, it was boy. good. All right, was so, there any fair, though? And are you in Las Vegas? I saw that in the theater. I'm old. <laughs> fear and loathing in New Vegas. It was S. Hunter Thompson, <laughs> wasn't it? I don't fucking know. Yeah. Madcap, shall we go to the north? the south if we go south i believe it will loop around again but better to better to secure our backsides south is like i would but i really don't want to pass through the mason dixon line you know um that's a, I mean, that's a there's a lot to unpack there we'll we'll deal with that later <laughs> if we're looking for the way out i think we go north if we're looking to explore the place we go south Um, the Quinn makes a battlefield decision and she goes to the north. Okay. And I check for traps. Okay. Make an investigation check, Quinn. Uh, Madcap, will you help me look for these traps real quick? Sure. I don't actually help. Aw. Arco, help me look for traps. We don't want to get... I say I do. I say I will. Okay. But I don't. Okay. I did not need your fucking help anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's an 18. That's still pretty good. Um, looking around, you do not see anything. Okay. Can I see? Uh, do I have any 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 line of sight in this direction at all, or not really? Yeah, I was getting that. I'm just okay. measuring it. Cool. Uh, yeah. So it does this, and then it turns ahead. Okay. Is there a, like a corner like that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Corner like that. All right. Metcap, follow me. I come to this corner. I'm going to peek around that corner. Okay. You get to about 60 feet and you can't see any farther. Mm. Uh. You know what? Uh, you go ahead. I will. I will stay here. Sure. I will float down the hallway. Okay. Get to about thirty feet, and it goes down, and then continues on another six, uh, up to sixty. So now he's floating, so he could float over a trip wire, right? And we wouldn't know it. Yeah, unless he's looking. Do you mean the... like that, or or it's like a T? It's, it's a T. It's oh, a T. Okay. All right. Should have done like this. I don't know if my south drop is 
Accurate. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay. That's where it is. Alright. Um, yeah, so as, um, as we're, as we're following Madcap, uh, I suppose I'm being very careful where I step. I'm just going very slowly. Okay. Let me know if you need a roll or anything. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we haven't ran, we haven't run into any traps yet, have we? One. Uh, yeah, oh, you ran into it. one. That's okay. I was like, I thought we did, hmm. but I was like, oh man, if we don't run into any traps, yeah. I was going to say, watch, this is going to be like his way of being like, all right, guys. Good luck. There's a bunch of traps here, and there are no traps yeah. anywhere. Just a fucking security. Yeah, really. That's something I would do. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> it's so that's so funny. Okay, guys, ready to play Tomb of Horrors? Takes out all the traps. Yeah, that would be so. Um, imagine that. Just and there's nothing. We get so paranoid. Tomb of, Hor Tomb of Horrors, but it, but all the traps are gone. Ugh. Continue on. Hey, Matt, shut up. You're extra bitchy today. Wah. All right. Um, you can see it goes to 60 feet beyond your vision, but right around here, it does curve. And the path of head ahead of you continues as well. Do you follow the outline? Well, I'm asking them. <laughs> no, and I'm waiting. I didn't hear that question. Or do we follow the outline? Yes. We just yeah. go. Right now. Let's just no go. hesitation. No surrender. Straight down the hallway. We go until there is no more. My hallway. mother told me to start spying. Hold on. Get to let's see, say where Madcap is. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right there. there. So, um, Madcap gets to there. At about here, it goes upward, and then it continues here and goes downward. You look ahead, and it is a dead end here, but I would like you to give me a perception check while you're looking down there. Okay, let me just check something real quick. <sighs> So, um, what you see at the end, it does appear to be a, a dead end, but you do see a small uh, uh, piece on the stonework that is carved out, and it is a four-pointed star-like shape. Okay. Like, uh, 
like a ninja star looking thing. Yeah, like a shuriken type shape. A little bit thinner though. Not the the corners of it aren't nearly as uh, as wide as that. Um. So now is it is it like a drawing or does it look like a button? Uh, it looks like it's um. Oh, what's the word? It's like beveled out or beveled inward. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's a car. Like it's a a thing. A like like a, a chunk of it was taken. Yeah, like an impression. Like a chunk of that stonework was taken out in that exact shape, like a puzzle piece almost. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, I say. Well, I think we might have found what we're looking for, but I think we need something before we can open the door. Uh, I want to look to see if there are any, like, seams along this area that would, you know, like into a secret door. Uh, you'll have to make an investigation check for that. That's a little bit more intricate than just looking. Um, I mean, it seem. I mean, it's possible that there are some seams, but it could also just be that it's so close together that you can't really tell with, uh, kind of thumbing through it. I'm filling everyone in on what I came across. So, um, we might need a key of some sort. Well, we have like three or four ways we can go in this area to try and find one. We can smash it with a hammer. That too. Smash it with a hammer! <laughs> If feet. only we had like an artificer that could create like an art like like an like a hand cannon that could be used as like a universal lockpick. <laughs> I may not have a hammer, but I can smash it. <laughs> Are you the god of hammers? I mean, do we want to try smashing it? Yes. Okay, I guess I guess Arco is gonna smash it. Okay. We're gonna smash it. Arco, make a smash. Make an make an athletics check. Yeah, I have advantage or proficiency. I mean, not advantage. Twenty. Arco gives it, um, gives himself a good wind up and goes in to push, and then you it like literally hitting a brick wall. The door itself does not, well, the passageway, the wall does not appear to budge. And it's you're. The door. It's clear it's some kind of passageway, doorway kind of mechanism, but um, like that much is obvious. But um, it doesn't seem to budge. Dang it! Yeah, it's a good try. The, I walk up to the door and I say, "Silence, my brother." <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay. I'm I'm gonna go down this this hallway and check the okay. traps. Okay. Do me an investigation check while I measure. What isn't there something like? Hang on. Twenty-seven. Okay. You look around. Um, you know what traps kind of look like. You don't. The slicers don't seem like they're that inventive of a bunch, so you're kind of looking for stuff that's pretty hastily made. Um, you're not, you're not really seeing anything. It does seem pretty clear, uh, but you do see it goes down to about 40 feet, and then breaks off in that direction and continues um, further south. Can you re-put those? And what red is this? It's like the maroon red, I think. Burgundy. Yeah, it's the one uh, burgundy. It's the one uh, on the on the left column, first, uh, second one down, left column. Well, while he says, I go up to the door and I say, "Sanguine, my brother." <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up. There's, uh, there's unfortunately no skull on the door, nor a hand. Fuck. <laughs> Control C. <laughs> I hate drawing. You want me to do it? 
No, I got it. And then it's like a hallway that connects here. Uh, well, you can't see that far, but um, you could make that assumption. I will go down it and check. And how far does this this side go down? Um, that I oh. saw. Well, you don't really have good vision down here, but I will say Ajax is helping you out while everybody's fucking around with the door. Uh, it goes down. Let me double check. A full uh, 110 feet before making a another one of those like like cur not cur those like kind of curved Tetris block shapes. Okay, can you measure that out for me, please? Yeah. It's about there, and then it kind of does that. Yo, people sleep on that shape. <laughs> that shape is fucking coded. Can't tell you how many times it's saved my life. All block's better. Tall block is only useful for getting Tetris, it's not setting them up. Yeah. Okay. I will continue moving down while checking for traps. Okay, you're going to need to roll me another what? investigation check. 15. Okay. You look through, you swear your mind is playing tricks on you, but um, you just kind of double check everywhere you're going. So far, everything seems okay. I'll say, if Madcap's sitting there at the corner, uh, you will also see that it does not, in fact, while it does appear to go about 60 feet across, it does also seem uh, like it does have a T that goes f further south. How do I erase? Uh... There is no erase tool. You can select the lines and delete them. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I could just draw white. Oh, you could do that, too. I'll put a star at this junction. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> um, I think I zoned out. What happened when Arco hit the thing? Uh, no, no, nothing. Didn't work. It, oh, okay. yeah, nothing happened. Okay. I just like got distracted. Okay. If a uh, pigeon man is looking down that corner, continues ahead. Uh, to there. Wait. Yeah. Can we just say that I mark the hallways in a similar fashion, just so I don't have to actually. Sure. <laughs> so it goes to here, and then splits off in that direction, and then also continues downward. Uh, and it continues downward to. Uh, here. Uh, and it does end and seems to go in that direction as well. Sorry. Well, luckily my lions are sloppy as fuck, so... Fine. No, it just makes it really easy to delete. So it turns where? Here? Uh, Here. Yeah, further down. Okay, it doesn't so... go that far. I mean, you don't know if it goes that far. Okay. I will move down to this corner. Okay, that continues for... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do.
That goes to here and then curves upward. Okay, and I'll uh, go down this hallway just to confirm that this connects. Uh, it does look like it connects, but it does also uh, break off in uh, a four-way intersection right here. Okay, so where? Here. Just that way, that way, and up. Ajax will confirm that it does go that far. All right, and I'm going to go in the middle of here, and I'm just trying to fill out the map, you know, mm -hmm. completion of style. So it goes to about, on this end, it goes to here and ends in a dead end. Uh, but give me a perception check. Let me add my d4. Ooh, that's 13. enough. Uh, since you've seen it before, at that dead end, you do see that same kind of indentation on uh, uh, on the wall. Small kind of four-pointed star indentation. My cap, same star. Huh. And there's, there's nothing in the indentation? No. It's like... Um, I hope I'm describing this right. So imagine if you have a brick, and then you, like, you know, like, with a cookie cutter, and you kind of pull, like, maybe about, um, say, like, an eighth of an inch of material off of it, but just enough to where you can see it, but it's also, you know, very clearly been taken out or carved that way. Sure. Alright, so we have two possible, I guess, exits. And you also see uh, the pathway continues here, and then uh, goes up, and then down. I just want to look at this one quickly. Kind of goes like that. Oh, I um, Justin, can I look at the star and like think about it at all? Do, do I recognize anything like it? Um, you could make a history check. Sure. Uh, seventeen. You you look at it and so, I mean. It doesn't bring anything specific, but then mm. you think about how long you've been in Marduk sure. and how much time you have spent throughout the Shade Burrow. Um, and then you recall that one of the older gangs that was there, that was in that area, that operated for some amount of time, um, did use... Um, like one of their identifiers was a, uh, like a four-pointed uh, medallion. Sometimes it was like a fashioned into a class, but it was this four-pointed star that they would use. You don't recall if it was anything more complex than that, but okay. you do remember the shape. Do um do I know if like the slicers like forced them out or if there was no connection? Um, they probably would have been before. Before the slicers took massive hold, yeah, back, okay. Um, back when there were a lot smaller gangs, sure, uh, in the Shade Borough. So we're probably talking over fifteen years ago. Okay. All right. Uh, you know, just kind of looking at it, sort of deep in thought, I would, I would turn and kind of mutter half to myself, half to pigeon. You know, I've, I've seen this symbol before. It was a. It was uh, the marker for an old gang in the shade, but well before the slicers. I've not seen this in 10, 15, 20 years. It's hard to say. Well, in one case, that's not a long time, or it was before I was alive. 
Yes, it's true. Time, time is a strange thing. You put that the humans live for such a, such a short amount of time. And it's oh, yes. yes. Yes, the days can seem so long at times, but the years so short. What? Don't mind me. I am just... Uh, let us continue on. Enough of this pedantic uh, mumbling of mine. I will look behind me, into the hallway behind me. <laughs> okay. Um, this continues out this way, goes up, and then down. Whoops. Dang it, I picked the wrong color. Sorry. Trying to I help. erased you too. There. I'm just going to assume that these connect. God damn it. Alright, I'm not going to do this anymore. It does. I it's, keep picking it, the wrong color. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Sorry. I was telling that I'm just going to look this way quick and I'm just going to. Okay. See, goes to about here. Yeah, um, continues up, and then goes to here. Continue and connects down. Is that closed off? At a, is it a turn or a junction? Uh, it continues on. Uh, actually, no, I'm wrong. I'm looking at the wrong spot. It it is closed off. It does go down. I want to. Uh, if I look down here and I see my writing, mm -hmm. I want to go here and I want to see if I see that star. On that one, um, you do not see the star here. It does look like it is just kind of closed off. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and look here. Uh, it does another one of those weird Tetris blocky things, so it goes here, but then at the end, and since you are specifically looking for it, uh, you will notice that uh, at the kind of dead end here, uh, you do see that star symbol. Uh, I don't think that's my thing, so I can't. I don't know, I can't uh, delete that line, but whatever. It's fine. We we know what it means. I know what it means. I was marking off the stars. Okay, um, I guess I'd return here and see that this, does this connect? It curves to this side and does connect. And then from there, uh, it continues onward and then goes down. I'll just say for the sake of it, connects like that and then connects like that. So it's like that. Yeah. Okay, so... Mm 
Madcap, go ahead and give me a uh, history check, and I'll give you advantage because it hasn't been that long in game. Okay. You think, um, and then you recall, you did pick up something recently that does have a similar shape to the indentations you've been seeing. Did I? It is in your equipment list. It's not any of the, like, D&D Beyond stuff. It's in your, like, custom stuff. Yeah, medallion. Four pointed star shapes. Skull and crossbones on one side, open flame on the other. You pull it out, and you kind of fiddle around with it, and you can see that the flame part kind of unscrews a little bit and pops off. Oh. You picked it up pretty hastily, so you hadn't really had time to play around with it. Guys, I think I found it. So, we have three options. I don't know what happened to Quinn. <laughs> oh, it's uh, Jake's erasing. There we go. Stop. <laughs> and it's being erased from existence. It's fine. You need to get your parents I'd, together before I'd, midnight. I'd be okay if Quinn was erased. Oh, ouchies. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Ouchie. <laughs> I stand by Quinn. If Quinn's leaving, I'm leaving. Quinn will remember this. <laughs> right, it's just on. <laughs> You'll be like, hey, could, could, you, could you heal me? Hey, Ellis, can you heal me? I don't know. Uh, you wouldn't be asking right. for healing if I wasn't here, now would you? Yeah. Maybe if I existed. Yes. Yeah. The witch knows healing spells. I do. Uh, yeah. She does. Not not like good ones, but you know they're there. Yeah, you got you guys have two okay healers in your party. Yes, in the yeah in the Overwatch um, lexicon, I I would be the off healer. <laughs> you have no main healers, only off healers. Yeah. Uh, we don't even have a. Uh, we we have fucking Moira over here and Brig. <laughs> Yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah, like, if, yeah. He's, if he's my setter in my, my group, who the healer is literally the fighter who took the healer feet. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Great. It's like, man, I can't patch up in the middle of the battle, but afterwards, we're going to be good. <laughs> unless you die, don't die. Yeah, unless, don't die, forehead. <laughs> well, at the moment, their, their NPC companion is dead and their warlock is turned to stone. Their sorcerer is turned to stone, so. Oh. Nice. <laughs> wow. Everything's coming up Millhouse. <laughs> <laughs> now Parge the Lath. <laughs> sorry, that's a that's a All deep right. that's a deep cut, sorry. <laughs> Alright guys, do we exit one, two, or three? Three has always been my lucky number. I'm not superstitious, you guys decide. All right, so Madcap, you go up here and put the medallion in the the hole. Yeah. It goes and it it fits like a glove. And you well, kind of wait I, for. I, I think it would fit like a medallion. <laughs> this guy. Um. <laughs> it fits, and you kind of wait for a sec, and you see a faint, kind of glow come from it before the uh doorway the wall you can see kind of uh in uh pull itself in to the the left side slightly and then kind of and you hear like some hinges go as it uh opens outward and what do we see uh inside uh is a very very small um room i think probably only madcap would be able to fit it 
I say room, it's more like a closet, honestly. I uh, find Harry Potter skeleton. <laughs> you find Harry Potter, no. Um, and inside, you can see um, a number of like kind of shelves built into the wall and uh what looked like um like a foot locker and like a foot locker uh at the base at the on the floor the no. on the shelves it looks like uh there's like an old it's like a couple of old dusty uh not well taken care of weapons and other kind of supplies by the look of it stuff that has maybe been forgotten um and likely isn't good anymore but the footlocker is down there at the bottom so the shelves is just junk yeah the shelves is pretty much all junk stuff the, the um, weapons would take way too much time to restore to be worth it i'll take the footlocker and kind of like shove it towards the pigeon like um you yeah, wanna take a look at this I'll open it. Uh, it is locked. I will unlock it. Oh, okay. He's not for traps. I'm moving on here. Okay. Twenty. Okay. You fiddle with the lock. It's pretty old, but uh, you manage to work your magic, and it pops, and it opens, and inside you see, um. Asia. <laughs> hey, come a, join the chat, Ajax. <laughs> a, a smaller Ajax. No, um, you Mark see Vader's helmet uh, with Luke's two, face in it. See two vials filled with uh, red liquid and um, a small uh, quiver that is actually full of arrows. About um, well, not like full, full, but it has like. Uh, five in it. Uh, is it magical? Uh, you could attempt an arcana check, or if you know identify, you could do I that. I do know identify. I will cast identify as a ritual. Okay, so everybody kind of stands back as Pigeon Man starts doing a magical incantation that lasts for about ten minutes. Um, and just for the sake of it, uh, you identify that the two vials are basic healing potions uh so the the common variety and the quiver it's not magical but the arrows in it are and they are plus one ammunition who fires bows i guess madcap does right uh madcap does have a short bow i'll give him i'll give him the arrows i guess wait wait do you know catapult I have an idea. If it doesn't involve the spell catapult, I don't care. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hear me out. Devotee sensor, there are holes in the weapon. We put the arrows in the holes. If the I holes swing it only, hard enough... The holes only open when the, um... When the, the incense is released. Perfect. I'll, I'll release the Otherwise, they incense. are completely closed. It is sealed shut. All right, never mind. Then. I see what you're getting at. I'm just saying, was like... it's a good idea. It just for the oh, the man. mechanics of the of the weapon doesn't work. Dang it! I am All taking right, one never... of the potions. Who wants the other one? I'll take it. Oh, sure, Mad Madcap already has a greater healing. What kind of potion is it? It's a regular. It's healing. a potion of healing. Oh. Wow. Here, I've never had one of those. Like you kind of. While you're doing the ritual, you're kind of like occasionally like getting dust off of it. It's been, seems like they've been sitting here a while. Yeah, that was a bit worth it. Uh, Where's the next it? one? I want more loot. We can uh, move on to number two. Okay. Uh, same thing happens. <laughs> Justin, what if none of us took the medallion? I mean, I expect you guys to loot shit, so. I, I mean, we're fucking loot goblins, dude. Oh, yeah. Where, so which one exactly did I get the, the amulet off of? I the think you got it off of one of the brothers. One of the twins. The brothers were the last two we killed, right? I think so. 
I also have twins coin purses. And a small journal. Okay, so I'll do the same thing at this one. Okay. Same thing happens and it opens up. And inside you can see um fairly similar setup except um on the uh the shelves um the interesting things are actually there there is no foot locker um you see a similar arrangement of two uh vials of a similar red color um and hold on i'm double checking something on here Let's see I'll give one to Quinn and I'll give the other one to the, the pigeon as well. Okay. I said I, I have a greater, so um, and I'm also what did I get? Another potion of healing. Ah, oh, thank you. So, so I already have a greater, and I'm also. A meat cushion, you know. Let me oh, shield. I lost my place on this uh. This table. Okay. Um, all right. You also find uh, a pouch uh, that is has seen better days. Um, it's got a little bit of mold on it, but you pick it up and you hear a clink, clink, clink. Uh, and inside, uh, there is about uh, fifty-five gold on that. Uh, Eleven gold for each. Hey, I don't know, there's four people here. Not to count either. No, Madsen is here, so. Oh, okay. I doubt well. Madsen wants any of it, but she can object if she wants to. I don't need it. Make more make more than that on uh on most days. You like a pastry and shed? And I'll pull one out from like a crevice <laughs> under my knee. And I'll it's it's a croissant. And it's surprisingly in great shape, even though I've 100% been moving around with it in my armor. Okay, ready? Um, no. uh, um, obscure movie line. They've been in my pocket. They're real warm and soft. What? <laughs> I've heard that before. Napoleon Dynamite. Talking about the tots. Close. Oh, close. Oh. Oh, I should know. I love that movie. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Napoleon Dynamite. Ferris it wasn't Day Napoleon Dynamite? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Ah, oh, oh, fuck. Yeah. Gummy bear. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah. I have not watched that movie in so long. Uh, chocolate covered pretzels. Oh so, no, 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 no! Who got the <laughs> Who got the potions from uh, this room? I did. Quen and pigeon. pigeon. Yeah, Quen and Pigeon. Okay. What? What? But you, you got the you got the one from downstairs. Uh, oh, from, that's right. Pull out from number oh, one. Right. Forgot. Wrong room. We are number one. What a bang. I miss that meme. I miss that meme. It's, it's very good. Honestly, I think that meme kind of peaked with the uh, the synthwave remix. Nah, it was there the metal was a cover. Synthwave remix. It peaked with this. Other than the fact that the first song is Event Sevenfold. Oh, oh no, never. Uh -oh. oh man, once you said Avenge Sevenfold, I was like, oh, bummer. I'm glad we're all in agreement that Avenge yeah. Sevenfold <laughs> sucks. <laughs> yeah. All right. Dude, that's like that's like saying that it's like saying that Disturbed is a good band. It's like, no. There we go. <laughs> All right. You want a genuinely good version? Oh, wow. This is wonderful. I love that band. They're so great.
Number three, question mark. Okay. Oh, all right. Going up there. Uh, and this one opens inward. Uh, as in this, this way. And you can see it opens up into a larger room that actually has like kind of a an almost semi cobblestone like flooring and you can see around you peer around the side and you could see a uh, shelf that has uh, got various uh, sacks and pouches on it uh, and the distinct scent of grain and flour and other things like that other like you know storage stuff that is Maybe teetering on the brink of not being good. At which point, I will move you over. And you guys Ooh. are close, closer to the uh, uh, bottom right. It appears as though this is... We're to presume this is where our quarry escaped through. Well, it seems like it's the only way forward. Yeah, we 100%ed the last map, so... Did, be. Can I do a, <laughs> um, a survival check to look for, like, footprints or anything recent that was disturbed? Or something? Um, seems like if we want to catch up to them, though, we're going to have to make a great leap. Uh, it's cobblestone, so it's not really like you can leave footprints. All right, let's let's. Uh... It's a good idea, but just you know, yes, does not logistically work. We must hurry. All right, hold on. Pulling out the reveal tool. Let's see if it works the first time. Aha! Get fucked. Roll twenty. Jeez. It's been giving me. It's been a the reveal tool's faster. Like, there's not much. Like the reveal tool, like the reveal and hide stuff. I would be so happy if they gave an option, like, to separate them, so they're yeah. just separate options. How many times do you just you actually click on where it says reveal, but then it picks the hide tool? And... Mm-hmm. I'll float in here and just do a real quick look, just to uh, anything that stands out. Uh, you see some old hay bales that are definitely not good anymore, and uh, a hay pile that has a kind of uh, sheet thrown over it, and what looks like a makeshift table using wood planks, and, and old hay bales. Oh, I didn't reveal a whole lot from over there. All right, hold on. You would be able to see a bit further in. There you go. We've got a door and a stairway. Yeah. Then this thing isn't there. I don't... It was part of the map. I can't get rid of it. Now I can go back to my white pulls. Easier to see on this. Uh, we'll do a left. Sure. <laughs> Alright. Give me like 10 seconds. Be right back. There, now it's not there. Is he back yet? No. Been 20 seconds now. Jeez. Wow, and I thought we only had one dad here. The witch takes a nap in this pile of hay. 32. The 
Edgen will drink water. I don't know. Well, I mean, as of tomorrow, uh, Kate's going to be a, a pet dad to 29,000 chickens. Wow. No. Wow. Too many. That's too many. That's too many, man. I can't pay child support for all of them. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Well, I mean, that's 29,000, so if you kill all of them, it's not like you're not legally committing genocide yet. That's true. Uh, is there a re- legal requirement for it to be genocide? No, I just made that up. As far as I know. There we go. I was trying to do that. All right. Uh, the door, you can see, uh, opens inward, and it is not locked. I will look for traps. Investigate. It does not appear to be trapped. The door looks uh, pretty, pretty old. Pretty not taken care of. I will open it as quietly as possible. Alright, just go ahead and give me a stealth check. Okay, that's pretty quiet. Did you guys know in the United States the maximum fine you can get for committing, attempting to commit genocide is a million dollars? <laughs> wow. Huh. In so, de- depending on which genocide, that could be less than a dollar per person. Oh dear. You know, you, speaking of the United States laws that a lot of people don't know about, we have the loosest laws on turn signals, and that's why like nobody uses turn signals in the U.S., which and fucking it sucks. Fucking pisses me off. Oh. I've almost gotten hit so many times, both in my car and not in my car. So, just throwing that out there. I've definitely yelled out of my car window more than once, Nice fucking Blinka! <laughs> yeah, no. In that accent, too? Oh, yeah. You gotta do it. Okay. Of course. Okay. Um, peering through and kind of inching your way across past these... Uh, inconveniently placed barrels. Go ahead and, uh... Give me a perception check as you're kind of creeping your way in. Or floating your way in, I would say. What is what? What is this white square? Uh, that's to cover up the, the hay bed that isn't supposed to be there. That oh. I can get rid of. Oh, okay. It's part, it's part of the map, and there isn't, like, a tile that yeah, I could yeah. put over it totally that fine. matches the dirt or anything like that, so... Totally fine. Yeah. Um, okay, with a 20, you can actually hear uh, some voices coming in this direction. Uh, let me reveal a bit more, just so you're able to see. It's a little too much on one end, but that's fine. Let's do this. Um, you can hear kind of coming out uh, from around past this area, uh, what really sets you off is, at first is sort of a, a more echoing kind of boist- not like super boisterous, but definitely deep chested laugh. <laughs> I tell you what, it's always interesting the sort of things you get uh, picked to find and take back. Take for instance my most recent one, Pretty Little Thing. Tried casting a fucking spell on me. <laughs> Didn't work so well once I slapped that stupid book out of her hand. <laughs> uh, you hear some more muffled I'm talking. gonna go stab him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would telepathically say to uh, Pigeon Man, ding, ding, ding. And uh, I want to float over here. Okay. Float over there. This is appropriate music. I appreciate. Thank you, Stuart Chatwood, for all the work that you did on Darkest Dungeon. Which I need to go back and play. I reinstalled it a while ago and I still haven't gone back to play it. Okay. 
and you can see like kind of in here a little bit. Um, is your vision? Oh, your vision goes further out that way. Okay. I keep thinking that all the squares are sixty or, or ten feet again. So give me a little bit. You can see off to the sides, uh, kind of leaning against and facing, uh, likely in like this direction, uh, based on the angle, a uh, green dragonborn. He's kind, of, he's kind of leaning up against this support pillar with his arms crossed, looking in that direction. Uh, with the boxes and the cover that you have, there's very little chance that he's noticed you, especially considering that you are making no noise as you move. I just see the one dragonborn. Uh, you see that one over there, uh, but you can, as you get closer, you can hear the conversation over here is a, a bit louder. It definitely seems like it's coming from this room. Now, the, are these just for um, are these stairways? They will go to a door that's closed. Uh, some of them. Let me double check on uh, the uh, upper map because this is like one of those layered ones where it's like you can put this one over top. Uh, I just need to send this to GM. Um, let's see. This one goes up and seemingly uh, straight up to a uh, like a trap door of some kind. And then... Can you ping where the other one is? It's kind of, the layering on here is kind of weird. Uh, that one goes up to, uh, you can see, um, like, the night sky as you kind of peer up there. That one seems to go straight to the street. Oh. And you said this one goes up to, like, there's no doorway, it just goes up to the next floor. It seems to go up to an, uh, the next floor of whatever build of whatever building you might be under, but there is like kind of a trap door. Oh, a trap door. Okay. Yeah, kind of like a cellar door kind of thing. But it's not nearly that nice looking. Uh, I'd say um, uh, telepathy. All right, just we'll get them. Just let me let me get a, a look at their numbers. I throw up a thumb up. And I'm just going to float here so I can start, like, silently looking in the rooms to figure out exactly what we're in for. Okay. Ajax is moving here. And he notices how much um, noise he's making and stops right there. i roll for something. That's fine. Alright, looking ahead that way. Uh, can I use my divine sense? Sure. That's alright. Uh, because I, I would assume I could also kind of uh, I get a general grasp of the situation. So. Well, divine sense try. will reveal celestial fiends, fey, and undead, right? Or is it just celestial undead fiend? Fiends? Un it's just celestial fiend and undead. So. Okay. Yeah. Um. Hey, hey! You never know. Fair. You kind of focus in, and your paladin awareness extends outward, uh, all around you, and it appears, for now, you are free of any otherworldly horrors. Okay. All right, I'm going to float over here. Okay. Floating that way. Uh, go ahead, since you're passing by there, give me a stealth check just to see how inconspicuous you can uh, you can do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just quietly across the floor. Just I am the knight. Remember his bat cat, bat, uh, Madcap is a little bit like Batman in that he calls himself Madcap. <laughs> Osric Osir Osir is his 
<laughs> the lasso of truth. What is your name? Madcap. All right. Uh, you can see into this room. Uh, the one uh, kind of dude, a guy man shape, uh, who's talking to a white dragonborn who does not appear to be noticing you as he is very much focusing on the large... Uh, intense looking uh, dragonborn telling this story. And man, the mother, I guess, uh, she's got some balls. Try hitting me with uh, kitchen utensils. <laughs> Gave her a little backhand. And she went down like a sack of potatoes. Okay, um, uh, I. Uh, I guess telepathically, I tell Paige, and like, he's in here. Let me keep looking. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna let that 20 carry over, since uh, it's a lot harder to notice you without making any sound on the ground. As you pass through here, uh, you can see into here. Yeah, I probably would go like, like, um, yeah, just to like just just the pillar between me and them. And at an angle, you can see in, uh, yeah, this room's narrow enough. You can see that there's two guys. One of them seems to be kind of just sitting down. Looks like he's like munching on like a like a bag of uh, like sunflower seeds or like nuts or something like that. Hot takis, snacking. Yeah, he's getting some snackies. Um. <laughs> The uh, the other guy. He's not the munches. Yeah, the other guy's uh, leaning on the corner, and he's like, "Hey, it's <sighs> you know, it's nice to share, right?" And he goes, "Fuck off, get your own." Um, speaking of munchies, Justin. Mm -hmm. um, last night, uh, Sander Sterling um, did a bump of cocaine off of Doctor Barry, and then uh, blew an innocent guy's head off. Nice. Yeah. He wasn't yeah. innocent. Hey, he hey, was, he was, he was, well, he was not innocent. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as innocent. Yeah. You know how like they're lycanthropes. You know how like when you take a hostage and it's like, stay back or I'll blow his head off, and the guy goes, Go ahead. It's like, oh well, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Brains went everywhere and then I did like a straight check and I just like shoved him at the bad guy and, and it actually like knocked him over. It was awesome. That was fucking scary. Yeah. Honestly, I thought we were going to die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wasn't rolling absolute balls. We were dead. Yeah, I was sure it was going to be a wipe. Right. Like I said, at least everyone rolled like shit last night. <laughs> uh, looking in here, you can see there's a guy who's uh, got a crate open and he's like digging through it. Uh, you can't really see what he's getting at without getting too close but he's very actively like searching for something in this box okay you're right behind the dragonborn please repeat a stealth check for me oh, so because he, he is faced just so he is facing this direction you said right 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 but you but are you next to him yeah. so yeah. no but i just wanted to just to clarify just to be sure you're fine you're just quiet as a mouse controlled breathing does not seem to notice you uh, I, I feel I mean, like in my mind like he's doing like you know like it's like when like it's like a spacewalk when like they like like they throw like in like a movie where they like push themselves and they like slowly coast in the the vacuum pretty much I make my way back here uh, say uh Four slicer telepathically to the the pigeon. Uh, four slicers, green dragonborn, the white dragonborn. I'm just gonna go this way. Um, seeing Madcap float by, uh, Quinn says to Pigeon, "What what is happening?" I I I whisper the same thing. Four slicers, green dragonborn, white dragonborn. Oh, I could always try to. Uh... I could use my powers to uh, attract one of them here. We could uh, thin the herd. Not Get yet. The thing again. Hmm. Uh, seems like a empty alcove in here. Eighteen slices. Uh, 
there there's an odd you no know, uh, it's uh empty you can see there's a lot of like scattered bits of uh, uh crates and other things in here it looks like they might have torn something open and then moved uh anything that remained i just want to like listen at this door uh you listen to the door make me a perception check 21 you did not hear anything coming from the other side of the door I'd relate to the picture that it's silent beyond the door. We can oh, try to open it quietly. Or we can take our chances as is. Hmm. I mean, I might be able to do that. Okay. Um, Should I risk it, though? It's however quiet you think you can be. I mean, I have a ton of stealth, so pretty good. So, uh, you hear, was, you hear coming like... from you hear coming down from the hall. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the Green Dragonborn got something caught in his throat and then hawked a loogie on the ground. Gross. I can I can help you open it stealthily. Yeah, I'll do it. Can you really help unlocked. on a stealth check? But Oh, it's unlocked. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, but still, make me a stealth check, Pigeon, because uh, the door... 20 fucking 6! You, you hear it... You, you test the hinges, and you can feel a little bit of resistance in it, so you go as slowly as you can so it doesn't make a loud noise. It opens very quietly to another door. Can I see if I can, like see through like the keyhole or something through the store um there is no keyhole on it it's kind of like a it's literally like three large strips of wood held together with uh metal like clasps and um shit like is that, that. Unlocked? yeah and uh it does there there's like only a handle on it there doesn't appear to be any like locking mechanism or anything but you go to open it, and it doesn't open inward. It opens outward, and as you push, you can feel there is some resistance. Um, you get the sense that maybe either there is a door bar or there is something pressed up against the door. Okay. I'll um, repeat to Madcap that it's not a that the store isn't a problem. It, wait, it's not a problem to open, or no? Like it's not a problem. Like um, people won't be coming out of it. I was looking at something. Why? Why is that blocked? Oh, it's blocked on the other side, or it's blocked on this side. It's blocked on the other side, but I mean, and, and it opens that way. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Oh yeah. So uh, the best way to describe like what these doors look like, and this will make sense for Jake. It looks like Mom's coffee table downstairs. Uh, thinner planks of wood, but uh, thicker. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it's kind of like that. So for context, my mom has a coffee table downstairs. It's made out of like an old ship door or is made to look like one. I'm not entirely sure, but it's like literally three things of wood, like the metal rivets and everything like that wrapping around it. And it's got legs. All right, so. So I was just looking at something, I just kind of remembered something from last time, that if it is mm -hmm. pure darkness, um, a mirror looks like a gray slab into dark vision. Hmm, okay. Um, it's not pure darkness down here, you've got yeah, enough... I, I, was uh, just, I was just saying. Yeah, there's like there's a like... scattered, like, candle here and there. Because Dragonborn and the other guys appear to be humans, they don't have dark vision. Uh I would say I'll say that. So how? So you said that that the ceramic jar was not heavy. It's not very heavy. So no, you know, it's it mostly looked... the ceramic, and then like there's a little bit of like liquid that appears to slosh at the bottom, but not enough to make any amount of sound. But it's sealed tight. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, if I if I did like shake it, was there a sound to it or? Um, you know, I didn't think about that. Um, I would say with the amount of liquid that it has in there, it doesn't really make that much of a sound. Um, but you know. It's probably condensation from whatever was placed inside of it, or something like that. I don't know how jars work. <laughs> so I'm saying, like, because I, if it's not heavy, I might be able to throw it at the big guy or something, or... I don't know, um, but hot, I mean, we kind of regroup, but like, so we have four slicers and two dragon boards, one of which is our target. How are we doing this? Madsen just kind of goes and pulls her axes out of the holsters, readies them. I think can you I know use, what my answer is. Can I use some healing first? I have like 27 hit points. <laughs> I'll chug my potion, one of my potions, but. Okay, roll me a d100, please. Wait, hold on. Do you... You only took one from... I uh, have two of them. I you, have, took one, you took one from each alcove? Yeah, I, okay. I took the old ones. I'll take uh, the newer one. The one that you grabbed uh, from the second uh, one? Yeah, from the second one. Okay, give me one second. All right. Uh, please make me a Constitution saving throw. Oh God. Uh, twenty-one. I'm cheating. What's uh Arco's con or uh, charisma lab? Uh, Arco's uh, charisma. My charisma is a plus six. Oh wait, no. Christmas. My charisma is a plus nine. Well, uh, not your save well, bonus, your, sorry, it's I, your raw charisma. Uh, a 16, plus 3. 6. Plus 3 is 9. That is not no, enough. No, 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 no. That is including his modifier. Uh oh Okay. Yeah. Alright. So... This is going to turn into... Maybe very, very charismatic. So this is going to turn into a Crank Yankers throw-up episode. I haven't... You take seven points of poison damage, uh, and you are now poisoned. Right. You didn't identify it. And you are resisting the urge to vomit loudly. But he's he's poisoned. Yes. Is there a limit on how many potions you can take? Um, I mean, as many as you can take in six seconds, or uh, him, for six seconds. I'll give him the elixir of health that I have. Okay. So uh, if you drink that, it'll cure, or remove it, removes blindness, deafness, paralyzed, and poison. Okay. Madcap very quickly pulls out another potion for you to drink. Oh god. <laughs> it is a different color. I believe the potion the elixir of health is like blue clear or something. Red, clear red liquid has tiny bubbles of light in it. Yeah. So it's it's kind of like a lighter red. You can see through it. It's like translucent and it's got like kind of little pops of like light, almost like a lightning bug in the distance. Do I even do I also do I even risk taking the other ones? I mean, I identified them as healing potions, but I am worried because Justin asked me to roll something that is not 2d4 plus 4. Well, you identify- uh, so the ones from the ones from the second- the, the ones from the lowest alcove, the first one that you guys opened, you, you properly identified. They are potions of healing. Okay. And you sense no trickery to that. Because identify identify even reveals if an item is cursed. So, okay. Well, I'll drink the potion Madcap gave me. Okay. 
Uh, on your turn, give me one second. Because this does have a thing on it. Uh, at the start of your turn. Ugh, poopy. Uh, you take another five poison damage, and then you drink the potion, and you are cured of the poison. Eleven hit points. Okay. Madsen just kind of shrugs and she goes, Sorry, kid, I'm all out. I have two. And I would appreciate... I would appreciate... You want to heal, if you want what, to heal your own Yeah, body. yes, I would appreciate it. You don't have to. All but right. I, no, but no, I would, no, I, no. I would like you for it. Uh, all yeah. right. I'll do my cure wounds. Uh, actually... Just because we're not doing anything and I want to keep my stuff. Uh, how much? I'll give you fucking, I'll give you 15 of my lay on hands. Okay, cool. That is like enough. There we go. Hey, we're almost, at, we're nice almost, we're almost at full now. Now oh, I can. Did you drink it? Did you drink a greater? I drank both. Oh, okay. I drank a Gatorade actually. Yeah, I drank a Gatorade. <laughs> Uh, who, between Quen and Madcap, who has the higher passive perception? Uh, 13. 14. 14? Quen, you will hear... Um, mine is the highest. Oh, uh, well, P Pigeon Man, you're, you're, you're busy not dying. Yeah, you're puking. Yeah, you're, you're, you're busy trying not to die and blow your cover. Um, so... Quen will hear um, coming from this room. You hear a kind of lower voice, presumably the humans, goes, Oh, you hear that? And the dragonborn goes, he listens for a second, he goes, That's probably the dogs upstairs. One of them's probably taking a fat shit. You know how loud those fuckers <laughs> are. <laughs> must, must have been the wind. <laughs> um... Yeah, well, you've seen them jaws. I wouldn't want to be on the uh, receiving end of that. We, um, we are drawing uh, some attention. We should uh, back up a bit. Quinn kind of pops in here. The axe ready. I don't know where I want to go. And my ex. I'll hide like right here. With my sword out. Okay. Everybody give me stealth checks. <clears throat> oh fuck. I got a I got a yeah He like hey, he like falls over and sneezes at the same time. <laughs> I I literally uh Argo just thinks he's whispering, but he's just like he's shouting at the top of his lungs about all the pastries uh, that he has. Um, um, as Arco like wow. falls over, um, Quinn uh, sort of tries to like pull him into this like little corral here and says, "I can I can pretend to be a sick old woman and we'll trick them." Madsen kind of Boomer clutches in front in, in front of them. Kind of positioning herself, positioning herself around this uh, small quarter, but keeping an eye out. Um, let's see. Oh, some more d20s since I actually have more than three now. We must have had a big battle last uh, session because my spell slot situation is not looking good. Yeah, you had a fairly really? intense fight. Uh, yeah, you you were you were slinging them spells. Yeah, I you did a lot of st you did a lot of stuff to prep. Uh, going into that one. Oh, so, yeah, that's true, too. It's like, I think you, you expended your fourth to put, like, to make three people invisible. Okay. Um, you guys are lucky that uh, I got two nat ones from these fuckers up here. This guy's too far away. 
So this one kind of comes out here. And Pigeon Man, you will see he kind of looks around. But since you are actually at an angle where he cannot see you, he just kind of looks around. It goes over this way. Starts talking to the green dragonborn. Uh, Pigeon Man, what's your passive perception? 16. 16? Um, you can hear he's telling the green dragonborn. Boy, we expected more people up top. Or coming in from the Warrens. The green one goes, not that I'm aware of, but wouldn't be the first time we got some unannounced guests. Yeah, guests is one way to put it. Uh, just keep your ear out. Don't know if there's anything about. I'm gonna go check with the boys upstairs. Whoa! He he he, he just <laughs> went. Man. He went. He went wide, Putin, for a second. <laughs> yeah. He goes upstairs. Green Dragonborn starts looking around. I'll look to. Seems to be, I, be a bit I'll more. I'll look to Mad. I'll look to Madcap and try and whisper. One last slicer, but they're upstairs. There's probably more upstairs, too. But now might be our best chance. If you want, I can float in to one of the lone slicers and just try and take him out as quickly as possible. We could try and do that on both sides. Because I think they're both alone on both sides now. That's, That's meta. I'm sorry. Well, it's not meta. I mean, Madcap would tell would, would tell tell you guys the positionings. Okay. If you, you and I are quiet, then we could have Ajax and Arco ready to and uh, Madsen too. And well, you know, Quinn, you can get in there and mix it. Uh, just right here, ready to to pull. What if these guys come out of there? And then when the green dragonborn comes down, you and I can sandwich him here. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, you take. I'll tell him, you know, Pigeon, just to take the one in here, just because it's closer and he's not crossing as much vision. Arco, I'd say probably stay here because there is kind of like a lip on the wall here. You can hide a bit better from there. Yeah, I'm gonna try and like stealthily flip over these boxes. Okay. Or uh, actually, would you want to take this guy just because he's distracted in a crate and this guy's probably watching the doorway? Oh wait, yeah, I'll, I'll actually, yeah, I'll take him because that means actually, wait, can I get to him though? Yeah, I can. Okay, make uh, both of you make me stealth checks, Madcap. You can do it with advantage because you are floating. Ooh. Ooh. Can't it's roll on that one on steel checks though, so that is fair. Not a roll. Fail. Let me roll for the, the two here. Okay. Uh, let me check. Okay. Green Dragonborn does not notice. However, Pigeon Man, as you run in, you kind of bump up against the barrel, and as soon as you get up to this guy, he turns and looks at you. You have one quick thing to do. Can I attack him? You can attack him if you want. And can I unload on this guy? Uh, yes. 22. <laughs> that definitely hits. I will say, in this moment, he is surprised. Like, you're right on the cusp of him not being surprised. So you get that sneak attack, and you just plunge uh, the, uh, the short sword right in his face. And... Uh, all right, Madcap, go ahead and make your... Uh... I'm going to quickly, at the end, I'll, when he like falls down, I'll, like, I'll squat down, and I'll put my finger up to my mouth, and I'll go, shh. <laughs> up to the pigeon's beak. You just you just brained the dude. He's lost consciousness immediately. <laughs> I gave that motherfucker a lobotomy. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. All right. Uh, I'm gonna, have, do I, I have advantage on these. You do have advantage. This guy rolled like shit. Okay. 
Uh, and with that, you just kind of do two quick slices around the back as this guy is still no, eating no, no. his nuts. Because uh, I'm, I'm floating, I do like a V shape going at each of his clavicles. Oh, God. And then, and so then I can like, grab his hair so as his body falls, I have his head. Oh, my God. So he's like literally as you hold the head. Uh, a couple of like half chewed uh, cashews kind of pop out of the mouth. <laughs> Ew. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's good. Good content, wholesome family content. <laughs> wholesome family content here on the Bound Bowman. <laughs> and I'll float over here, um, and I whisper to the uh, to the witch and to Pigeon because you're in range of uh, one than the other. <sighs> Successful. Uh, the witch will kind of turn and whisper to the others within range. Um, uh, they are thinning the herd. I don't think... Uh, Cobra, I just saw your fucking gif. <laughs> is that from the... What is that from? Do none of you know Crank Yanker? Oh, of course I do. No. I, I, think, I think so. It sounds familiar. So Comedy Central. It was it was a fake prank call thing where they used Muppet, it was celebrities voicing Muppets, a puppet. Oh, part. okay. And and just tons of times they had this like scene of this like this vom this characters like vomiting. Yeah, and usually like they'd be talking about something very mundane, but when they get to a certain trigger word of the thing they're talking about, they was like throw up. Thesis. <laughs> so- sounds like old Comedy Central content. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. All days, man. That and uh, the Man Show, of course. Oh, the man show, yeah. Yes. All right. Um. <laughs> that coffee. <laughs> How long are you searching for that? Hmm. <laughs> the the gif you just posted. Uh, the monkey. I. That's in my favorites. Funky. Uh, are we posting monkey gifts? Monkey. Oh, that caught me off guard. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I'm surprised that you're surprised more about the gif instead of my profile picture. Oh, uh, what's your? Yeah. It's Shagorath. Oh, it's, oh, it's Zoom Shagorath. Yeah. <laughs> Look oh, at my yeah. status. <laughs> what does it say? Stream Zoom by Shagorath. Pepe Dab. <laughs> Oh, I needed that. That was good. Okay, so um, after Adam. the the brutal murder of these two guys, it's fine. They probably stabbed people. Let's say uh, if you guys want to prepare to take the two coming out of here, Pigeon and I can sneak up on this guy and probably take him out. Because there's no way he's going to go down quick enough to be, you know... Right. Super stealthy. Right. Um. Uh, the wit. Okay, so uh, did you understand that he wants us to attack the two in this room? Yeah. So I th- my my thought is that pigeon and I will go flank this guy, mm. and then when these two start coming out, you guys lay into them. Quinn, do you have any second levels? Oh, uh, let's see my spell slot situation. I've got two first level, two second level, and one third left. So it's not it's just a third level hold person and hit both of them. Uh, I do not have hold person. You don't have hold person. I thought you had hold person. I think I'm a just a terrible bard. <laughs> no, um, no, I I've got to spell magic. Does that help? All right, here's the plan. I'm gonna use hold per and need. <laughs> Old person and a glass of water. Um, I did just look at your around. I happened to look at your spell list. You have silence. Silence will fall when the question is asked. Are there any? Wait, wait. What are you? What are you suggesting? You could just drop silence like here, and we can just fight these guys, and no one would ever know. Uh, we could. Do you want to do that? I I mean, just me as, as Cobra, I am a big fan of the silence spell. 
Um, like it's like a scene. It's like imagine like it's a scene where like this guy is a character who has like headphones on. Like yeah. in Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy, he's having he's the the prison warden who has the headphones on. He doesn't notice all the shit happening behind it. Yep. It's just a thought. Like I don't know if Madcap knows that, but that's that's a little bit meta. Uh, sure. Yeah. I mean, if uh, Madcap indicates the same to the witch, you will comply. Yeah. Does that sound good for you guys? I'm the man. Yep. Let's do it. Um. um. All right, uh, Quinn will uh, drawing verbal and cinematic, drawing an arcane rune, speaking the word of power. Uh, she will cast silence um, upon, uh, I believe, this point. And can I have, um, I just want to have a hold action to just immediately chuck. Well, that's a little too big. I had it right the first time. And um, as she does this, um, she, uh, Madsen and, and, and Argo could just barely hear her say, silence falls. Um, does Pigeon <laughs> Man want to move in before it falls? Yep. Okay. All right. I, so no, I want to, um, yeah, that's fine. Now I just want to see, uh, it just are deafened while inside it. Okay, so I'm pretty would okay. First off, this is just something that I want to consider with silence, since creatures are deafened. I'm assuming that it creates a zone where no sounds are made. Does that mean that like no sound is created and no sound can pass through it? No sound can pass through. Okay. So with that, silence falls, and these guys, uh, in the midst of their conversation can no longer hear each other, and are looking around, really panicked. Uh, they draw their weapons, and you guys start to move in. Let's roll some initiative. Yeah, boy. I was going to say, you shouldn't play combat music, because it's entirely silent. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, can you guys see everybody on the on the initiative tracker? I would say, Alice, I'm so glad you have silence. I love that spell. It is so underused, I think. Yeah, I'm always waiting for like a powerful Ooh, spellcaster. Ajax has been sitting sitting back for too long. He's for fucking ready to go. Oh yeah, he's coming out swinging. Hey, okay. not good for these guys. Ah, damn it. Stop breaking, Encounter Builder. Please. Justin quickly remaking the entire encounter in D&D Beyond because we subverted his expectation. So, like, what happens is on the Encounter Builder, like, I go to, like, I click on, I click on one enemy to look at for their stat block. Then I go and click on another one. And then when I go to click on either one one I clicked on before, it just errors out the entire website. Yes, we like, can't play I, don't, I don't get it. Well, I, I can refresh it. It's just annoying to do so every time. All right. Uh, oh, I also need to roll for Madsen. What is for it? Not great. Uh, I'm going to roll for the green guy, too, just for now. Just to see when he gets to act, if he's ever triggered. Okay. Excellent. Alright, so... Up first is Madcap. Okay. Um, I'm going to Kensai shot and chuck my axe at this guy twice. At uh, the Dragonborn guy? 
Yes. Okay. Go and roll your attacks. Uh, a 14 will miss. Uh, well, does he know where I'm, I am or am I stealth? Uh, I would say it's less that he... It's less about that he knows you're there, but he knows that something has happened and he is on alert. Okay, that 19 definitely hits, though. And then you get, what, the D4? Ooh, there you go. Nice. Chuck go, um, yeah, float around this pillar to be here. Okay. Yeah, there. Okay. Ajax. Ajax is just going to sprint this full on football run like right into there. Um, I'm double guys, checking. I've got it. All of us leave and just leave Ajax in there. There's no way Justin will kill the Forms character when he's not here, so he just solos the fight. It's like having uh -huh. an invincible NPC doing all your work for you. Yeah, it's uh -huh. like yeah, it's like um, keeping Martin with you after the Battle of Kavach. Uh, yeah, he's got no more. He's got no bonus actions, so. And nobody's taken a rest since the fight. Everybody's just kind of kept moving. So, he's he's done. Pigeon Man. Hmm. I don't know if I want to wait for the Dragonborn to move out, or... Actually, you know what? Yeah, I can reasonably get behind him. I'm going to sprint in and get behind him. And okay. make an attack. The uh, Dragonborn will make a swipe at you as you pass. Okay. With his axe. Uh, that is an 18. That hits. Okay. Uh, and he swings with both hands, and he hits you for 10 slashing damage. All right. Go ahead and make, make your... Oh, you made your attack 15. Plus is two, enough to I'm hit. flanking. Yep. So 17 is more than enough to hit that guy, and just kind of speed around and just quickly like slice uh the back of this guy's neck and it just uh, falls over dead all right and i can use the rest of my movement 15 exactly to get into a flanking position with him nice and i will i didn't use my bonus action so stibity stab Four damage. If that okay. hits. Uh, the 17 does hit. Oh, well, it's even higher because of the flank. Oh, right. Okay. Alright. That ends your turn? Yep. Alright, Arco. We're, we're just remember everyone. We need them all. Okay. I'm ready. Don't it's know what I'm going to do. Uh, uh, I guess I'll just kind of move here. No, here. No, I'm going to move just behind the you... witch. I don't want to be seen. This is this is sketchy, man. We're going to get like jumped by like 10 like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They can't hear us in there. You should go in there. <laughs> I don't have any... Oh, wait, can I get in there? Actually, hold on. Let me look at what spells I have. Well, any spells that require verbal components are impossible inside of uh, the silence, and most paladin spells require verbal. Well, if I use... Hold on, but if I use Expedition's Retreat as a bonus action, I don't think that'll count, does it? Because I'm not uh, in No, it. because you, you maintain the concentration. The, the concentration doesn't require the components, only the initial cast. So you could do that. We just have to kill that other dragonborn? Okay. Uh, We're knocking him unconscious because um, we need well, him. Sure. Alright. Um, I, I need him! <laughs> alright, alright. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna cast expedition. That, that was a that was a terrible prequel joke. It was a bad prequel joke. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna cast it, gain double the movement, and I'm gonna okay. go. Nyo, nyo, nyo. No one sees me. Um. And I'm gonna hit this guy twice. Uh, with my sensor, and I'm gonna do non-lethal damage. Bonk. Uh, that's oh, oh, damage. You need a rolled attack. Yeah, I don't know. I'm so sorry. Please excuse me and my ineptus. Uh, okay, the 9 does not hit, but the 18 does. Roll the damage for that one. Yeah. Non lethal. Okay, 18 oh, damage. Not bad, not bad. Okay. And uh, that will end. It. Yep, that's all your things. Madsen gets to go. Um, let's see. He's going to move around up here and is going to uh, ready an attack for anybody who is going to come in and interfere. She think she looks in there and is like, I think they got it. All right. Sadis turn. I saw what you did to that guy over there. Um, he's gonna mouth something, but none of you have observance, so you can't really re read his lips. I'm gonna turn around to Pigeon Man and go in for two battle axe attacks with both hands. This is what I'm thinking of. Like, Gina is the Green Dragon boar. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, that is a 22 and a uh, 21 Fuck. against Pigeon okay. Man. Uh, so you take 10 slashing damage from each. Uh, I will uncanny dodge one of them. Okay, so you take 15 damage total. And then he'll kind of spin around and uh, make a claw attack uh, against Ajax. And wouldn't you know it, rolls a three on the die. Good job, bud. Uh. <laughs> That will be that guy's turn, Quinn. Yes, uh, Quinn. Quinn will take a uh, step forward, uh, taking a short leap over these boxes, um, um, running past Arco. We'll say, oh, "I see you saved me some of the fun." Stepping forward, making a weapon attack against this last one here. What's that? <laughs> What's you, that? you mouth those words. <laughs> Uh, yes, I would use the international Dragonborn sign language. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, there oh. Is one. oh. All right. Sick. Yeah. Be non lethal. Be non lethal. Oh, it's fine. He's only now starting to look rough. <laughs> uh, and then I say something very quippy to him, which he can't hear. Yeah, he mouths words and he just cocks his head. <laughs> okay. Uh, this guy is looking around. I'm just going to see if he has the wherewithal to actually fucking look behind him. He does not. <laughs> so. Even if he does, like, Madsen is, like, blocked by these this crate, and I'm blocked by the pillar, and yeah, that's fair. I mean, Madsen is kind of a big lady, but she is crouching down, so you'd at least have to perceive oh, yeah, you her. Said, what? She was, she was... She had Goliath, or was she... She's, a, she's an she's Asimar, an Asimar, but, she, uh, that's an Asimar, but she, she's big. She's like she over six feet tall. I knew she was something funky. Yeah. She's, uh, she is, like, over six feet tall because she is a rune knight, and rune knights have a thing at one point where their size, their their height actually increases, so 
she's much larger than your average lady cuz 2021 is the year of tall ladies. I like yeah. big girls. Pretty kitty girl. <laughs> so, uh um, I like bird girls. All right. Um all of, women. The, all of the other regular dudes are either dead or somewhere else. If there are any more. Is that we had in mind like? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. No, but this part. <laughs> Home Alone 2 reference. Excuse that brings it to me. Uh one second. I did roll pretty high. Um, I think the only... Nobody would be able to see this, but uh, just for my sake, the one who went up the stairs here is coming back down, but he has only reached here. He has not seen anything yet. All right. Back up to the top, it's Madcap's turn. I am whipping levitate. So I can actually I can move my full movement. Mm-hmm. I can easily get there. Okay. Um, and telepathically, I say to Dragonborn, Do you know what Nemesis means? A righteous infliction of retribution manifested by an appropriate agent. Personified in this case by a horrible cunt. Me. And I'm going to attack. Jeez. All right. Let's go for my favorite movie. What's that from? The movie Snatch. Which no, uh, okay. which no one could hear. <laughs> well, he did it telepathically to uh, to that guy, so he made sure he Dragon could hear it. Oh, that's so smart! <laughs> Wait, that. that definitely hits, and that also definitely hits. Ah, damn! Oh, this is close, but you got the plus two from the flank, and sixteen is enough. Oh shit, that's 43 damage. Uh, yeah. That brings him below... Uh... That brings him... Uh, to zero. Yeah, so Iso, like, um... Uh, each of my axe attacks is went at right, um... Towards his knees, on the back of his knees. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I just went for a double elbow to the top of his head. Okay, to knock him out. And easily enough, bring him down to closer to your level, kind of hop up and whack uh, across the face. And he silently falls on the uh, dirt floor. There's kind of like, give everyone in the group a thumbs up. Cool, now what do we do? <laughs> Now I think we... Well... If we can do it quietly, we clear the rest of the floor. Um, or we, I mean, we can drag him back into the Warrens. We can drag him to the room back to the north. I like uh, in the Warrens, they might have gotten through by now. Yeah. Um, oh, did, um, uh, Justin, did the do the the um, four pointed star doors? Do they close automatically? Uh, you didn't see any indication that they would. Okay. Um, but actually, can we can we close this behind us? Because I don't know if they would have a. Well. Yeah. All right. I'm not totally out of initiative yet because there are still combatants on the field. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, so, that was Madcap. I mean, Madcap is right. for the, for the round. Well, I think he did enough. Ajax responds with your thumbs up, and he walks over to this guy and just full-on, like, pulls him up and fireman carries him. And he just kind of looks around and kind of points, like, around in kind of gesturing, all right, where are we going? I, if I could tell Pat, we tell Ajax to, to start bringing him to the room to the north, just to the start, and... Do his, you know, manacle him and stuff like he usually does. 
Yeah, well, first he's gonna get him there. Yeah, but that's gonna start. Alright, he's gonna start carrying him this way, uh, at half speed, because he's carrying a big boy. He's gonna get to there. Alright, Pigeon Man. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move like right here next to Madsen, and I'm gonna hold my position for anybody that moves into our range. Okay. Arco. Uh, I. I'll just stay. Is he being held right now? Yeah. Uh, Ajax has him here. Let me put the hand symbols on him. The, the gib. Could I also hold him? Uh, it won't really help, because both of you will be moving at half speed anyways. Dang it. And the Ajax is strong enough that he can carry this guy. Um, I, I'll, I'll, prepare, I'll prepare an action. I'll prepare okay. to, to hit him again, in case he tries to make a sly move. Well, he's unconscious. He's doing oh. nothing. Oh, okay. Dang it. I thought he was conscious and we had him, like, locked in. I was gonna be oh, no. <laughs> Madcap fucked him up. Okay, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna prepare an action. Okay. And hit him if he wakes up. Okay. Still just gonna be like. <laughs> I'm gonna like hold it like above his head just in case. Okay. You never know. All right. Then Madsen. She's just gonna scoot closer to the barrels. Uh, and is going to attempt to hide. Is her action. Alright, not bad. That's a 16. That's pretty good. She's a big lady. 16's alright. Alright. Uh, Carrick is unconscious. Gwen, it is your turn. Oh, yes. Um, what, what are my compatriots doing? They're just carrying him up. Uh, it seems like people are readying to... Um, uh, for a potential next wave, and Ajax is trying to get your quarry uh, out of out of combat. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. I will just uh, um, stand over here next to uh, Madsen and uh, ready my uh, attack for any uh, combatant. Okay. Green guy. Uh, he sees his buddy coming down and just kind of like does a nod. It's like, eh. Um, seems like he says something, but you can't hear it, as no sound can enter the area that you're in. Alright, then it's this guy's turn. Wait, that was one, two, three, four, five, six. As he gets here, and he will... Okay, that was pretty good on perception. Uh, just to see if he can see anybody else, because it's very clear that through the uh, the pillars here, there is a uh, elf, a man in a bird mask, and a heavily armored man, fireman carrying uh, a white dragonborn out of this room. And he looks kind of like, like kind of punches uh, this the green guy in the shoulder and draws his weapon, and uh, for his action. Will turn, and you see he whistles. Though you cannot see him, you cannot hear him do it, but you see the motion of him going to whistle. Um, as he makes eye contact with us, um, can Quinn just kind of hold up a few fingers and wave? Sure. He's just like, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back up at the top. Madcap. Well... I don't know that that happened. Uh, you will once you get to the doorway. So. Oop. Okay. Um, I exactly. will...
Okay, 40. I moved four. Yeah, once you get around there and you kind of peek through the corner, you can see um, this guy and the green dragonborn uh, getting ready to uh, enter the fray. Hmm. Excuse me. I couldn't get my bow out on this turn, could I? Um, I mean, drawing a weapon as part of an attack action is a thing that you can do, but you'd have to put, you'd either have to just drop the axe. But I don't think you could sheath. I don't think you could like stow it and then pull your bow at the same time. Can I like like make it throw the axe and waltz in the air, pull out the bow and shoot the bow and then catch the axe in the free? <laughs> um. Well, throwing the axe is the attack action. Yeah. And then my because I have two attacks. I'll say you can, but you're going to make both attacks with disadvantage because the axe has. Uh, it's uh, outside of its interior range, and the bow, you're kind of doing that quickly. Yeah, oh, that, was, that was kind of a dumb thing. Um, I will... Look, uh, the axe range is 2060, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I can and move, so that's six movement. I have two more squares. This one needs sharpshooter. <laughs> uh, I will throw my axe at this guy twice. Okay. Uh, throw disadvantage. Throw disadvantage. 18 still hits. And 16 still hits. Uh, it's a total of 20 damage. This guy, as he's drawing his weapon, and he turns, uh, and you're like, par like as you throw it, your, your ears exit the sphere, and... Uh, you can hear this guy going, Come here, you little fuck! As the, the axe uh, just embeds itself in his forehead. It just falls over and it, and it kind of like shakes, like trying to get itself out of, the, uh, out of his head as it pops out and comes back to your hand. Uh, I'll kind of just like... I have the mask on, but I'm just going to give this guy a big smile. I mean, maybe my eyes smile well enough. Um, I'm going to move back here and telepathically say to Madsen, um, more to come. Hold the line. It just nods. All right. It's Ajax's turn. Uh, Ajax will likely be doing his double move. And see, and I'm going to go in here. He sees this alcove, and he's just going to kind of plop this guy down in there. That's good. And then just... Um, he'll be like, all right, we'll be back for you later. And then uh, that will be his turn. Uh, Pigeon Man. Um, hmm. I don't know what I... Let me check my spells. Keep in mind, you're in silence, so anything that's verbal, you can't do. Most of my spells don't have verbal components. Really? Never mind, I was wrong. They all have verbal components. I was gonna say, things that only require somatic and, and or material are very rare. Like, I think the only thing that comes off hand to my mind is counter spell is somatic only I think that's weird the counter spell is only somatic which means you could cast it in silence um okay you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cat you know what spell is also weirdly has no verbal components hmm. minor illusion huh Okay. Uh, so I'm going to. I'm gonna put right here, like, the sounds of, like, swords clanging in this room. 
Okay. To try and get the attention of this guy. So he goes over there. He already has your attention because this guy was, like, shouting at him and pointing in your direction. Okay, never mind. I might not cast Minor Illusion. I don't know. I'll just stand on these um, barrels then and wait till he walks towards us and try and attack him when he enters my melee range. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, Justin, can I say that I stowed my axe? Yeah, yeah. after that, you can do that. Just now my, both my hands are empty so I can draw what I need in the next turn. Okie dokie. Arco, is your go. Okay, um... Well, dang it. I guess I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna wave at this dragonborn. Okay. Uh, and, uh, oh, okay. I'm going to cast my marine layer. Okay. So I'm actually going to move right here and I'm going to cast my marine layer. I always Did wanted to do it. Didn't you already, hold on. Didn't you already use uh, your fury of the tides or did you not nope. do that? You haven't. haven't okay. All right. So, just so unless, I know, unless you did it. No, I, I don't think here. I did. Yeah, then I'm gonna cast my marine layer. So, what's the radius on that? Twenty feet in all directions, following me as I move. You and all and creatures people... within five feet of you. Instead, treat this fog as a light obscurity. Fog lasts for ten minutes, spreads around corners, and cannot be dispersed. Okay. So anybody who is right next to him can actually see through it for the most part. For all he knows, we have disappeared. Uh, and I'll move. It's really hard because I want to keep at least Pigeon in it. So I'll I'll kind of like stand right here because it does go okay. around corners. So Arco activates his smoke bomb. <laughs> nice. That's really cool. Smoke bomb mode. Yeah. And everybody said that that was a useless channel divinity ability. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and that'll be my turn. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll prep an action. I'll prep an attack if he decides to get close. Marine layer is a bonus. Is it a bonus? I thought it was. Yeah, it should I think be a bonus. A, I think it's a bonus. Yeah. Yeah, because all of my all of my channel divinity should be all be, they should all be bonuses. At least I think yeah, they, they should be. As with all ch paladin channel divinities, they should be bonus actions because for a lot of it, it really fucks up what paladins can do most of the time. All right. So, with that, we then get to Madsen, who's now a little perturbed that she can't really see very well. Well, um, I, well, I mean, the the people inside it, they still, they can... Uh, but is it within a within, certain range? It's in within five feet. They only yeah. see it as a light obscurity. So, it won't... Oh, uh, I guess she's not at five feet of me. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Sorry? Yeah, they have to be right next to you. Madcap, you have, you, you see fine. <laughs> Yeah. But everybody else is kind of... Yeah, he has special eyes. I know. You have to have hmm. dark vision. Sorry. No, not even that. Dark vision doesn't let you see through, like, obscurities. It just lets you see through um, places with no with no light. Uh, Damn. I'm trying to think of what she's going to do. Hmm. She can't see, so she's gonna walk out of the fog. And she's just gonna taunt the dragonborn and hold her attack uh, until he gets close. Uh, Carrick is still unconscious. Now it is Gwen's turn. Ellis? Whoopsie. There we go. It is your turn. Yes, thank you. Um, let me see here. So, movement. You can't go through that. That's a pillar. Yeah. Sure. Um, 
Okay, can, I can pass through my ally. Mm -hmm. Get up here. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Quinn is going to. Let me look, let me look here. Yeah, uh, she's going to uh, step out of the silent circle behind Madsen. And mm -hmm. she's going to throw a second level dissonant whispers at the Dragonborn. Oh, okay. Uh, Wisdom save 16? Yes. Ah, six. Nice. Uh, so there's a total of 18. He has to use his movement to run away from you. All right. And get here to the edge of the stairs. He just... And Madsen, having her axes ready and ready to go, and you do your spell, and he goes... And he fucks off in that direction. She turns and kind of, like... <laughs> she just, like, sla she just, like <laughs> annoyedly slacks her arms and just goes... I guess I'll go chase him. <laughs> All right. Uh, and that brings us to his turn. If, unless there's anything else you want to do on your turn. Uh, no, that'll do it. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so he goes, shakes, uh, and looks up at the stairs. Hmm. And then, let's see, runs his way back. Okay. It's here. It looks him looks you guys in the eyes. And Oh yeah. He's gonna suck in and expel his poison breath. So I need you and Madsen to make a constitution saving throw. Ooh, okay. That's did not roll very well. Okay, so he uh, he made the save on his turn then. Well, the he only has to. Uh, for distant whispers, he only has to do it on the first, right? Uh, Otherwise, it would be concentration. Yeah, I think you're like, right. He uses his reaction to run, right? I think so. Yeah. Yes. And then on his turn, and then when it comes around to his turn, he can do whatever he wants. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm, I was I was thinking of fear. My bad. No, you're good. I was thinking. All right. Uh, how many? Okay. I just use averages on this. All right. Uh, so you take ten poison damage. Ooh. Madsen, so also takes ten. All right. Uh, but there's no condition on that. He just bleh, exhales uh, all this poisonous gas uh, into your faces. Into our dumb, stupid faces. <laughs> all right. Give me one second to move some stuff from the GM layer around. What is it me? I'm waiting one second. I am moving things on GM layer. Sorry. I just had to talk to more DM leaks. I was just watching it. Where someone replaced a bunch of Darth Vader lines with quotes <laughs> of the, the, the nemesis guy, his character in Snatch. <laughs> it's usually him just being fucking mouthy and shit. Which, if any of you have, haven't and have the chance to watch the movie Snatch, it's fucking amazing. Okay. Coming that you can, uh, let's see. Madsen and Quen will be able, being the only ones outside of the silence, will be able to hear um, the sounds of uh, clawed feet running down stone and into dirt uh, as 
They can't see it, but just so that you know what's coming. Oh, dear. Some armored dogs are coming down with a, uh, their master, it seems. Dags? Do you like dags? Like dags? <laughs> Another quote from Snatch. Brad there you go. Bradley's an Irish gypsy. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. So, that, that is their turn to get into position there. Uh, up at the top, Madcap. Uh, I will pull my short uh, bonus action Kensai shot and fire at this guy with two uh, the plus one arrows. Alrighty, go ahead and shoot. The attacks and damage will be plus one higher. Uh, total 20 will do it. And same again. So we got 12. Uh, and 8, I mean... 20. Kensai shot. Excuse me. Kensai shot is on all of them? All for the for my turn. Nice. Well, unfortunately, it does, it's not the round, so I can't hold it. I can't use it for held actions. But Yeah. But yeah, it's for each one of the round. Um... Nice. So let's twenty five. Uh, yeah. Aiming true with uh, Arco's. Oh, is it twenty five? Okay, I did the math wrong. There we go. Uh, An extra one. Oh, never mind. Aiming true with uh, the benefits of Arco's uh, marine layer, allowing you to see through since you were close to him. <laughs> Fire, firing two arrows at once. Um, Sticking right into him. Nice. So for him, these just arrows just come right out of the fog and hit him. Yeah, back. they do like the little, like little like puff, like circle appears on the on the smoke. There you go. All right, Ajax's turn. All right. Well, first, Ajax is going to come up and see that there is now this giant thing of fog just gonna go <sighs> okay fine and he's he's in sprinter mode because that's all he's that's all he's been doing he's just been running the whole time well, he'll get up to here and look at be between uh both you and uh between madcap and arco it's kind of uh now that he can actually see he just kind of shrugs and uh it's like giving you this look of what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? Um, but he still has movement. No. Well, how much more, how much further out can he get with 15? It's getting crowded there. All right, you know, he's going to kind of come around the side of this wall. And then uh, call out to Quen. He goes, "What's going on? I can't see shit." Ah, uh, there is a um, um, uh, some dogs coming. Uh, be prepared. Ah, uh, not one for hitting dogs, but all right. Cracks knuckles. So, do you have any treats in your pocket or any bones, perhaps? No, I, no, he I left all my jer <laughs> I left all my jerky at home. Um, I know he, he doesn't, but I have a spell for that. I can't. I can't hear you. <laughs> I realized I'm still in. I realized I'm still in the silence bubble. Otherwise, I would have said that I have like croissants and danishes. Um, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, wonderful dog treats. <laughs> well known, yeah. wonderful dog yeah. treats. Justin, yeah, dogs love dogs love danishes. Justin, I know I'm taking um, liberty with the uh, time frame of initiative. Um, Quinn po pops her head around the corner and points to the dead guy here, and says mm -hmm. to Ajax, "He has bones. Go, go." Just looks, and that'll end Ajax's <laughs> turn. Uh, Pigeon man, it is your go. I'm gonna walk over here, and I'm gonna cast Speak with Animals. Ooh. Uh, doesn't... One action! Okay, I thought it was ten minutes. Okay. No, it lasts for ten minutes. You can also cast it as a ritual. Oh, okay, that's what it was. It, it, All right. it is available to be cast as a ritual. Okay. 
Do you cast speak with animals and you look at the dogs? I'm gonna look at the dog, then I'm gonna calmly say, Please go back upstairs, or I will eat you for breakfast tomorrow. Okay. Make an intimidation check. Fuck. <laughs> the dogs... I, I don't know how to speak dog, apparently. The dogs look to each other, and the one in front, uh, the biggest one, kind of growls at you and goes, Master says kill, so we kill! I'm not scared of giant chicken. <laughs> it once goes in the back. What One of the back goes... <laughs> um. Hey, you know what? No, I'm gonna save that because I can't come up with something right now. But I know I'll come up with something later, so that'll be fun. All right. I like chicken. Um, and that's the duration is just ten minutes. It's not concentration, right? It is not concentration. Nice. All right. So that's your part of your movement and your bonus. No, that's an action. Or your action, I mean, sorry. You have 10 feet of movement and your bonus left. I'll move right here. Bonus action. Okay. Hide. Oh, yeah, you are a rogue. You could bonus action hide. But actually, yeah, I'll move back here. No, I won't bonus action hide. I will um, bonus action uh, dash, and I will get back over here. <laughs> Just like. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Arco, it's your turn. Excellent. Um, um, w actually, how much movement? Let me see this. Wait. There you go. Now you should be able to see oh, his Oh, look at that. Check. Oh, wait. I guess I would technically give him advantage. Now, do let's mean? do it. Well, I mean, because if he's in five feet of me, he could see me. Nah, yeah. nah, nah, nah. But we're going in, dude. No hesitation. No surrender. I'm going to move <laughs> right here. Okay. I'm going to try to hit okay. this guy. Okay. Um, Twice. Bop, bop. Uh, I only have five foot reach. I guess I have my breath weapon. If I use my breath weapon... <gasps> I think no, you should no, save no, that no, for the no, dogs. No, 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 I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I have an idea. He's gonna make some doggy oh. jerky. Oh, oh dude, this okay. Guy this guy got There's fucked. There's a crit. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. That's perfect. I like it. Fucked. It's kind of poopy on the crit. Kinda... I, it's kind of poopy on the rolls in general. I mean, that's not a lot of damage, actually. You, But you can still divine smite on that crit. Oh, yeah, I can. I think I'm going to. Good idea. I do have one spell slot left. Okay. So I'm gonna use yes. my divine smite and add. All right, to roll, roll me forty-eight. Yeah. <laughs> forty-eight damage. Forty-eight. Fifteen extra damage on the crit. All right, hold on. Let me. Eleven plus two is thirteen. Plus two is fifteen. Nineteen. Plus fifteen. Yeah, that's a lot of math. And then eight on the last one. This guy is not happy right now. You swing down with the fury of Bahamut as he uh, strikes down, again. as he has uh, used his stinky breath on um, on the ladies. That's not very nice. And you give him you give him what for you do, and uh, you slam down so hard with uh, with a flail. He falls to his knees for a moment and gets up. And he almost struggles to get up after that. Actually, I have a quick question. If I I I, I don't I don't think I have any more movement, but if I do, I don't think I did. If I do, and I technically move ten feet away from this guy, would he technically lose disadvantage? So like say I move here, which is five feet, and then here? which is 10 feet, it'll completely obstruct his view. So, would he still be able to hit me? Um, uh, he would be considered blind when he's not, when he's heavily obscured. 
Yeah, but you used 30 to get there. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. you have Expeditious Retreat, though. That You're you're right. Yeah, you do it's have still up. Retreat. So if I move here, will he be mm -hmm. able to take uh, an opportunity attack? Um, that's a good question. I because here, let me let me let me read it really quick again. I'll I'll, I'll like put it in chat or something. What were you gonna say, Cobra? See, that's the question. Is uh, it, your I think opportunity attacks is when they're leaving the square. So, like, but they haven't left yet. So keep yeah. the opportunity attack would technically take place while he is here. Yeah. And it's also a light obscurity too, so I don't know if that means that it would also give everybody disadvantage. Uh, I don't know what light obscurity means. Like it, that kind of works like dim light, where it's disadvantage on like perception and anything that requires okay, okay. light, but not attack. Yeah, Hev heavily heavily obscured uh, is dis is like the equivalent of blind is like the equivalent of blindness. So I would say he will hit. He will make an opportunity attack normally, but once you leave that, he is back in the heavily obscured area, so he is now technically blind. You know what? I think I am going to move. Okay. And I'll, uh, like, retreat to right here. He's going to battle axe with both hands, in Pachi Zaraki style. I'm not afraid of this guy. That's an 18. Fuck, if it meets, it beats. Okay. Uh, that is 10 slashing damage to you. Oh, sit! Oh, easy. Yeah. Okay, and that'll be it's a my little turn. bit higher because he he gets the D10. Right. Because of two hands, but yeah. No, I'll 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 hide back here. Oh wait, wait, hold on. But he also has his no escape. When the sadist hits a creature with opportunity attack, it can move up to half its speed in the same direction as the target. This movement does not provoke opportunity attacks. So as you run, as you fade from his vision, uh, he this pursues you. Everything. Well, so you, if, no, you stay if, there. Oh, you you move. You stay there. And he moves up to you. <laughs> Sorry. God damn it. What are you, what are you guys have, did? You still have like 20 movement, so. I do have more movement, so I could keep running. You should go back to where he was. Just change place. <laughs> <laughs> change I a lot of movement. <laughs> I can just run farther because he, he has half of his movement speed. Yeah, so he could move up to half his movement left. speed towards you. I have 20 movement left. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, if I can keep... I'll keep running, and... Oh, this is a terrible idea. I love this. I'm going balls to the wall. Let's go. I'm going to run past everybody here. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go right here. You kind of shove the Assuming. box to the side. <laughs> like, you guys are used to seeing Arco... Oh, I'll go right here. Uh, Used to seeing Arco like, you know, kind of slow, lumbering, menacing, but but now he's he's zooming. He's, he's all over the place. Okay. But still, I'm I'm a <laughs> zoomer. So I'm in here. Hold on. Let me let me make sure I have it up really quick, just in case. I don't want to predict. Zoom by Shiagora. <laughs> and uh, I will consider the uh, the barrels difficult terrain, so you have to double your movement to go across them. Oh, you just don't like me. Jeez, I'm hey, bullied. they're big barrels, and you're a big dude in big armor. No, <laughs> like, what I do you just, want? I'll just charge through them. Come on. Okay. What, what? What? Are they full of like? Oh, they're not gonna be. Not gonna, like, I'm gonna break it on. They're gonna be full of bees. Come on. <laughs> you you say that, but don't tempt me. I have always wanted to just randomly throw like an insect an insect swarm somewhere that's just bees. No, I'm gonna. The, I'll... This picnic is looking absent of bees! What's this? A delightful family picnic? Woefully underpopulated by bees? I'll, I'll still move here, though. Um, okay. Because that's a that's a pillar, right? I can't move yeah, on that. You cannot okay, move. Yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep running away. So I guess he, yeah. oh, I guess he doesn't get another opportunity. Or I guess he does. Does he? No, he only gets one reaction. So. Because you, you. That's what I thought. Yeah, All right. I'll, I'll hide here. All right. right Madsen's turn. Um. Yeah, what is she gonna do? She was well, able to see for like a second, and then it went away. Yeah, just like. Uh, I'm just gonna roll real quick if she can figure out where that guy is.
pretty low. So she's going to instead having object permanence come out here. See the dogs coming around. Uh, hold on, how much? Fifteen. Yeah, you know what? She's like, ah, finally get to hit something. She's gonna run up and start hitting the dogs. Cause she's a bad bitch and don't care. Finally, get to start killing a little creatures. Oh, oh no! The first one's a natural twenty. She's been saving up. So full on. Um, oh, Pigeon Man's not. Pigeon Man's in silence. He can't hear it. <laughs> he can speak with animals. Uh, all right. Well, Quen and Ajax hear a <laughs> as the first dog gets an axe in its head, and she scoots up on top of it and goes for the other two. First one hits. Does 10 damage. The second one. Uh, I'm pretty sure... They have low AC. Let me double check what they're... Yeah. It's just enough to hit it. it just kind of does a double sweep. And kind of hits both of these guys. Alright. Eric is in the silence and is unconscious. He is not coming up for a while. Uh, so I'm just going to actually take him out of initiative. Alright. It is... Gwen's turn. Okay. Let's see. Um, Quinn is going to run uh, up to this guy and make a weapon attack. Alright. Um, you're... Okay, yeah, you're next to... Arco, so you can see him. Yeah. Uh, so you can get to him no problem. But now you're in the obs. Uh, you're now in the obscurity, so you'll have disadvantage on your attack. Oh. Um. Yeah, marine layer's weird. I f I feel like it'd be better if they just if it just let you like pick allies that can see through it as you could instead. Uh, can I stand somewhere else? Can I stand here? Uh, you have to be directly next to Arco in order to uh, see through it as a light as light obscurity. Okay. Um. He's looking real bad. What'd you say? Disadvantage? Uh, it's only disadvantage if you're away from Arco. Light obscurity means you have disadvantage on like perception checks, not attack rolls. Sure. Okay. Uh. All right. Thank you for explaining. Uh, I'll I'll, I'll throw out a vi vicious mockery. I'll, I'm I'm going to insult his mother. Okay. Let's do that. And roll the vicious mockery. Yep. 16. Save. Wisdom. I didn't ah. even look at that. Uh, but I knew which die I rolled. Hmm. Because it's bright and purple. Uh, his wisdom is garbage. So that's a 10. Wow, wow. Five psychic damage. Alright. Okay, you were back in oh wait, hold on. You moved into there. Uh you couldn't you can't cast uh Vicious Mockery if you're in that area because of silence. Just it's move verbal. to the left one, you'll be fine. Yeah. Or move down say. one. I'll give you that. Okay. I mean right. I'm just i it's late, I'm confused by all the circles. I know, it's 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 funky. It's weird. Um, Ask yeah. Cake about circles. I know he plays that, so. Hey, back off. I hate All that right. game. So since you're there, Quinn, you will see this guy. You insult his mother. It's <laughs> like, she's so, it's like, so mean. <laughs> and then wordlessly, uh, in this direction, uh, well, something happens, but I'm going to do this. <laughs> And you will potentially find out what happens if you go in there. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> Psychic damage kills are my favorite. I feel I feel bad. <laughs> um I do I have m movement left? Let me look. Um what did I do? You were there, I'll say you 
Quen would understand that she couldn't cast the spell there, so she did not move. You have 30, 35 feet. Um. Oh, hold on a minute. You know what? I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to actually move back a little because I just looked at my HP. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, that, and that'll be Quen. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Well, that guy's down. This guy's the same creature type, so I'm just going to keep that initiative there. That's what I've been moving him on anyways. Um, yeah, he's going to hop up on the uh, crates there and come down around the side behind Madsen, and he's going to start... Uh, beating her up. Or trying to, anyways. Uh, we got ourselves a 17, which is enough to hit her. And the other is a miss, but he did hit once, so he gets a claw attack. Wow, five and a two on the die. Nope. Thank you, Die Hard Dice. You are really helping me out tonight all right i'm starting to think that it's not the dice you use i think you're just shit at rolling dice I, it, it probably is me but then again this is also the first time i've used these so they could just they could just have stage fright i don't know all right well, that's gonna be that guy's turn all right let me roll some stuff on the next turn Okay. There it goes. Now it is the the dog's turn. Uh, this dog is going to what is their speed? Fast. It's gonna come around this side, hop up around those barrel those crates. It's gonna come around this way. <laughs> um and it's going to try and sniff some people out because he can't really see anything. Ooh. Oh my god. So, double nat 20s because uh, keen hearing and smell. Uh, I'm using wolf statistics on this. Um, so, but it's on the on a die roll that doesn't really matter. But the dog... Let's see. Now I have to figure out who who in this party is the stinkiest. <laughs> um, um, they could be the pigeon's mask, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah it it's the pigeon's like, it smells, mask. It smells of the end times. It smells of the end times. So the dog is going to charge in here using the dash action and... Uh, while not actually hitting you, it's going to run into the barrels and start... <laughs> well, we're, it's it would be doing that, except you can't hear it. You just feel the jolt of the barrel as you now see a dog, like a giant mastiff in armor, uh, starting like nipping at you with its big, drooly uh, uh, teeth. Mm, interesting. These two here are going to be uh, trying to bite Madsen. And they each have path tactics. Ooh, natural 20 on one of them. Which means... Oh, wow. That's a lot of damage. And she's knocked prone as it kind of bites her in the leg and brings her down. And the other one is going to go in for an attack. Uh, misses, unfortunately. Her, her uh, leather armor is too thick. All right, that is the dogs. Uh, it is now Madcap's turn. Oh boy! So I have—it's impossible for me to know this dog is here because I'm blind and deaf. Uh, until you walk next to Arco, in which I would say you'd be able to see through it. Uh, I'd probably going around until I had step, like bumping into Quinn a little. Bit. Yeah, um, yeah. But you can handle one dog. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, oh, uh, let me put him to back. There you go. I will put two in the back of this 
dragon blood. What color is he? Uh, he is bronze. Okay. Um, the first one will be a plus one arrow. The second one will be a normal arrow. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Oh, and it turns I shot. My call. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. So seven on that. An 11, because that one was without the blue arrow. That's high shot. It's an additional 5. There we go. Right, right back. I, Turns and sees will, you. I will stow my bow and kind of ready my fists. Alright. Okie dokie. <laughs> Jake! <laughs> Is it my turn? No, Jake just sent me a fucking picture of Shea Gorath in oblivion with the drip jacket. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, uh, it is Ajax's turn. Was that not enough? I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Ajax is gonna... Move up here and kind of get a lay of the land. Sees the dog nipping at Pigeon Man. He's like, I think he's got it. Saw Madcap run the other way. Ajax is going to come over here. Look around the corner and see Madsen getting attacked by dogs and this dragonborn turning around with two arrows in his back. <laughs> he looks to Madcap and goes, Uh, you need a hand? I think she does, at least. Yeah, I'm gonna help. Alright, has he used his, uh... Tattoo? I think he did. I don't know. Let me double check. That has a... Alright, well, I don't remember if he did it or not, so uh, his bonus action, he's going to activate his uh, Elder's Claw tattoo, and uh, we'll reach around the side and punch that guy at range. So Ajax. All right, both of those hit. Those are some nasty hits, too. There we go. The Ajax turn, Pigeon Man. I'm going to bonus action attack with my dagger, the dog, in front of me. Okay. You get sneak attack as Arco's next to you. I don't want to threat. use it. Well, I think it goes off automatically. Let me on check the sneak it, attack. I'm pretty sure sneak attack is on the first attack that you hit, regardless of whether or not you want it to. Once or, per turn, it's... once per turn, you can deal okay. an extra. It can. What is the right. what is the benefit to not using it? Because I uh, want to use it on a different creature. Ah. Oh yeah, you want to use mobile? Okay. All right, so you just poke the dog with uh. One damage. one damage. It's like, bad! <laughs> and, Only it can't hear you. Yeah. And You let I'm, it know it's a bad dog. I do let it know it's a bad dog. And I'm going to move up to this dragonborn in front of Madcap. Okay. And I'm going to say... You know, most dragonborn that I know would say it's bad to hit girls. What happened to that? <laughs> and I'm going <laughs> to attack him. He just responds, not this one. All right. Uh, wow, that's a hit. Definitely. 17 damage. That hurt. And that's my turn. Okay. Since right, I assume I probably can't talk to the dogs right now. Yep, yeah, probably not. Much. But the dogs do 100% understand you regardless. Mm-hmm. 
Um, quick question. Mm -hmm. How how important is this one NPC to our party? Like, is it, Which one? Is it this really... Guy? No, right here. Is, oh. are, are, are they really important? Do we really have to keep them alive? Would it be well, a shame I'll say if I accidentally killed them? Like, yes, because if, if she dies, my mom dies. Damn it! Okay, I just want to say, because I have my extra movement, and because I have my crazy fog, I was going to go, like, right here, and I was going to cast my breath weapon and everybody would have gotten hit because I don't think they would have been able to see it because the fog would have obscured their view. It would have at least hit somebody or I could have gone like there, you know, either way. I mean, you can still probably I'm, hit her. It doesn't matter. I'm going to, I don't want to kill her. She's probably at like full health. Who cares? And either said, way. No, nope, you're saying it. If she dies, it's on you. Okay. I'm just saying. I okay. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, it. If I mean, if she if she dies, I'll take responsibility for that. But so like five. He's like a level eleven fighter, dude. Thirty. Like forty five. Yeah. Uh, I mean, op an opportunity attack on that dog, but whatever. Yeah, I'll I'll take you. I'll take my chances. I don't think a dog is gonna kill me. You're all four. You're fine. Oh shit. Oh, that was close. Actually, uh... But now the dog is high in Quen. <laughs> how big is this cone, by the it's way? It's 15 feet, so it's like this. So it, it, it would definitely hit this dragonborn. It would hit the dragonborn, right the dogs, and Madsen, who's on the ground. Which, I double-checked, okay, prone does not give her disadvantage on deck saves. However, because they do have obscured view now, like... They they can't see anything. I I do not know. I they they might have disadvantage. I don't know. Let me double so check blind. Because they won't be able to see anything, and it's a dexterity saving throw. So if there's if it's just fog, and then there's a giant beam of fire hitting you, automatically fails an ability check that requires sight. Attack rolls have disadvantage. Creatures attack rolls have disadvantage. Hmm. It was weird that it. At least they'd have disadvantage. I feel like that's a fair enough argument that they see the fog come in, they don't see what you're about to do, so they're <laughs> unprepared for the deck save. I, I feel like I, that's fair. I've been wanting to do this for so long. Okay, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna them. make a judgment call and say that that is fair. All right. All right. Well, they have Ooh, to. Ooh, that's some good damage too. Thirteen fire. I'm, All right. I'm happy with it. <laughs> Look at the sadist. His deck save is oh not that good. But he's got disadvantage, so it's probably gonna be bad. He rolls two twenty uh, because fuck me. And it is. Uh, the dogs. There's no need to save for them because they have two hit points left. Yeah. Uh, the dogs are now Korean barbecue. Oh. He really is gonna eat him for breakfast. I apologize if that joke offends anybody, but I think it's funny. Fuck you. <sighs> Korean barbecue is delicious, but eating dog jokes are also funny. <laughs> In a very morbid, in a very morbid way. It's funny. You know, I, I think dog jokes are funny. My jokes about slavery last time we played were funny. Um, I feel like between last night and tonight, we've killed a lot of dogs. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. One thing werewolves count. That's an, even with disadvantage does succeed, but barely. Like literally, she got a twelve. So. Yeah. Uh, six damage on her part. She still dies. Look at that. <laughs> oh, she no. had one hit point. Oh, no, she's dead. How could this happen? <laughs> hey, we had right. a verbal agreement that it wouldn't be my fault. I just wanted to breathe fire, man. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, it is After Quinn's that, turn. Yeah. yeah, that is your action. So, it's, And you used your bonus to dash. So it's Quinn's turn. See the dog... <sighs> Oh, uh, soundlessly is growling at you. Now, now, doggy, oh, you cannot, you, you cannot hear me. <laughs> I can hear me. I sound great. Ah, kurva. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. So, um, Quen is going to. 
Um, ooh, I know what Quen's going to do. Quen's going to run up to, like, put her foot on this barrel, I guess? Uh, maybe, like, right here and attempt a weapon attack on the dog? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It's kind of like, um, oh, I can't think of the name of the movie. Okay. Uh, ooh, 23. That's, that's a hit. Five piercing. Five piercing damage. Um, and with that, um, so this, so what, what is, so like, there's like a ring of mist around the Arco? Sort of like gray, uh, everything up from Arco up to the gray ring is fog. Uh, the yellow one is his aura of protection. Right. And if you're right next to Arco, you can see through the fog. But I so so right now looking in this direction, I only see fog. You can see the faint outlines of people. You know your allies are there. You don't know who's who by the by their silhouettes. It's a little too foggy. So I cannot misty step in there. I assume. Um. It says you have no, because to... misty step requires line of sight. It says to a space... dimension door lets you pick specific like foot increments. Sure. Yeah. Sorry. No, 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 no problem. Um. Uh, I think I fucked up. Um, is did you fuck up, AA Ron? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, is uh, drinking a potion a full action? Bonus potions or bonus actions in oh. uh, in my book. Oh yeah, you're the best. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pound my potion of um greater healing. Uh, but uh, administering potions to other people are actions. Yeah, I take the critical role rules. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna. Go I'm gonna. Drink your... Yeah, I'm gonna drink me a potion. Are you drinking your uh, regular? No, the big one. The big one. Okay. Then roll the the hit points. All right. Yeah. Ooh, that's a lot of fours. Fuck, dude. Um. Yeah, I was at almost max. I was at seventeen over fifty two. I was just getting a little nervous. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Uh. Yeah, I feel good. All right, nice, nice. Thank you. Uh, the Dragonborn gets to go. Well, Madsen's prone. Although, yeah, no, she's prone. Is disadvantage, but the prone gives her gives him advantage, so it's straight rolls. He's gonna go for that. Fucking ignore the rest of you guys. This guy seems to know who she is and uh, does not like it. All uh, right, natural two. That doesn't hit. Uh, that one's over 20. That hits. Uh, and he's going in with both axes. Start beating her up. And claw attack. Also hits. How much does the claw do? Six damage. Not a lot. All right. It's going to be his turn. Uh, okay. Gwen, while you do not hear anything, you are able to see in your area here, and you can see that these doors start swinging open as a number of goons start rushing in from this side of the wall. Uh, looking in, looking in, you can see uh, past the door that there was like a bookshelf or a storage shelf of some kind. It did the thing again. Meant to reveal. There was a bookshelf or storage shelf of some kind that was pushed up against the door that is now firmly on the floor that they are stepping over. And they are looking mighty perturbed. Okay. Um, what's this dude here doing? Uh, well, he, he moved in through the door and then moved up this way. He moved up that way, huh? Yeah, he well, he just went up that way, so. Okay. He doesn't, as far as he knows, he doesn't know that there was somebody there. That's just the position that he moved into, because well, there are people behind him. Sure, well, because um, you were kind enough to have Quinn looking in that direction. Uh, she, she she took notice that there's someone who might be moving in that direction. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just saying that you see the people there, since now that you can see your passive perception's <sighs> decent, you're looking around, yeah. you know, you're in a fight, you're observing, so. Yes. Yeah. 
I don't I don't really do like, okay, you're looking at this guy. Nothing in your peripheral vision matters. I'm not doing that. No. All right. But that's their turn to do that as they spent the last few turns trying to move that thing. So, and they were not rolling very well. All right. Uh, it's now the dog's turn. The dog did not like you stabbing it. It's going to attempt to bite you. <laughs> the dog did not like you stabbing it. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the night. That's an 11. I don't think that hits you. 11 would miss. Yeah. So, the dog fails in biting you. All right. Madcap back up at the top. Uh, it's kind of foggy. That is true. Which means that it's impossible for me to know these guys are coming. Yeah. That and they didn't make any sound because nothing's passing through the... Uh, very... Oh! Uh, actually... No, wait. Quen, you didn't get hit by anything, so you haven't had the need to make a concentration check. Never mind. Ah, thank you. So. My bad. I guess I take a step there and uh, take out my axe and take this one. Okay. Roll the hit. Even with flank, that will still miss. Well, I'm not flanking anyway, so... Yeah. That'll hit, though. That's 11 damage. Ooh, he's not looking good. Uh, bonus action on arm. Punch! And he's down. Slams up against the wall and... Balls and slides his way down. Okay, um, do I hear anything, any more noise coming from up this way? Uh, make a quick perception check for me. Uh, no, you do not hear anything, uh, kind of coming up from that direction. Then I probably just, by default, start heading back. Mm hmm. Yeah, check, check on everybody what? else. Am I going here with now or what? Right, that's five. Uh, Do I see these guys now? Yeah, yeah, you can see oh, uh, yes. some of them coming in and looking around and being like, ah, fuck. Um, I, uh, so I would just say, like, say audibly for everyone out here, like, shit, slicers, um, back from where we came from. And I have three spaces left, and I move there. Nice. And then let's return. Ajax. And like... <sighs> cracks knuckles. Back to work. It's just gonna... He says excuse me, but none of you can hear it. As he moves his way in through there. Uh, and is going to hold his attack until somebody is within his reach. He's done a lot of running. He wants to do punching. Pigeon Man. Hmm. Um, seeing everyone move this way, and he... I'm gonna bonus action dash to get right here. Okay. I'm gonna stab this motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, you hit him. Um,. Don't get the sneak attack, but 10 damage is 10 damage. 10 damage is 10 damage. And because I hit him, um, I can mobile, and I will move back here. Okay, but this one will take an attack of opportunity. Mobile is see. for everybody. Is it? I'm pretty pretty sure. sure. It's only the top piece of creatures you attack, I thought. Let, Let me read it. You don't provoke a top opportunity attacks from that creature for the rest of okay. the turn, whether you, whether you hit or not. All right. So the other guy will make an attack on you with his scimitar. Ooh. Okay. Twenty-three. How much damage? Six. Quick slice. All right. That your turn? Yeah. All right, Arco. Well, if you didn't see what I was doing already, uh, yeah. I'm going to rotate. <laughs> rotate. I'm going to go right here. 
Um, and I'm just gonna prepare an action. Um, you cannot Wait. end your turn occupying somebody else's space, even if they're an ally. What do you mean? Sorry. Like you're on top of Madcap. Madcap might be short, but he Wait. still occupies the space. I'm I'm right here. That, yeah, that's right. right there. Madcap is underneath me. No, right that's here, here. my my name plate is there, but my token's here. Yeah. Oh, your token was here for a long time, so oh. I'm sorry, my bad. I had no idea. Oh well, I mean in that case, I'll just stand here and prepare an well, you action. Could... You could go diagonal actually, too. You could actually, go right yeah, there. Actually, yeah, I'll go here, and I'm gonna hit this dog because. Okay. Fuck, fuck that dog. <laughs> fuck Bro, them wanna... dogs. Yeah, fuck that dog. I'm gonna hit you twice. Well, shit. <laughs> well, one misses, but the other one hits. Roll damage. You're probably gonna kill it. Yeah. 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 No, you don't bite women. <laughs> bad, bad dog. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. What's the name of that? Fuck. Uh. What's the name of that one Hanna Barbera dog? Oh, um, Mutley. No, it's the fuck Mutley. Mutley. <laughs> Snazzy Fresh. Snazzy Fresh. The dog I missed. It did the Mutley laugh. <laughs> and I hit it instead. You know that. You know which one I'm talking about, right? Hold the on. kind of like wheezy. Yeah. <laughs> that one. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. Mm-hmm. Wacky racers. Yeah. All right. Uh, that you just you you miss one. You hit with you hit the barrel and break it a bit. You swing up and clock the dog in the jaw, and the armored mastiff goes down. I uh, will take them off. Cause they're all gone. Yeah. Um. Oh wow. Oh, I'm really glad I moved there actually, because now Ajax also can see through the pod. Yeah. Oh, uh, how good. does everybody look, by the way, around me? Like, is everybody looking okay? I have 14 hit points, but I'll be fine. I haven't been hit since we've gone here. Uh, you know, I should have only Kenny dodged the attack I got, but whatever, it's too late now. Yeah, it happened. Alright. Uh, that was Arco. Wait, I, gonna... I, I just got the ping from leg. What do you. Oh. Isn't my crown still in the bag of holding? No, you took it home. Oh, I did take it home. I thought I had it on me. Oh, I guess I did it. Jackson's gonna stand up. Well, I want. Well, never mind. Uh, and it's gonna crest around the corner. See that the fog is there. Um, hmm. She could use her action to dash. She'll do that. And then use her second wind. Since she got roughed up pretty bad. There's a D10. Ooh, wow. Okay. Goes for 18 hit points. Let's do a plus on that so it don't set that health to 18. That'd be bad. There you go. Uh, but that's your turn. Oh, Which? I'm so excited. This is this is so rare that this happens. Um, okay. To begin the turn, <clears throat> uh, Quinn's going to drop concentration. On silence? Yeah. All right. I don't think we need Everybody that. Everybody can hear again within this area. I don't think we need that anymore. All right, hold on There's one like a, second. Some people have like a slight tinnitus ring to them. Yeah. Alright. Um, and Quinn is going to um, follow this whatever. I kind of, hold on. She's going to make her way. Making my way. Yeah, she's going to go over here, right? Okay. Okay, and she's going to stand in front of this dude. And like, as she drops concentration, she kind of like cocks her head to one side and kind of exhales, sort of letting all that effort sort of flow away. Um, stepping up, kind of walking past Pigeon Man, standing in front of these fools. She's going to hold the witch's opus in both of her hands with her eyes closed. And then she looks up at them and casts Thunder Wave. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, 
guys. So it's going to hit those guys. The yeah. other guy's just out of the range. Yep. So is the other guy. All right. Let's roll some constitution saves. Uh, <laughs> not great. Plus one. So for the four of them. Actually. Um, let's use my orange one for the one that has the orange dot. Fancy. Ah, four. Uh, guy below him. Five. The guy below that guy, 19, not bad. And the guy in the back, 20 total. But, so this guy is dead. Wow. As his eardrums <laughs> rupture and uh, blood is coming out of his ears and gets blown back into this guy <laughs> and falls down the hallway. This guy gets pushed back into the wall, into there takes 13 damage from the thunder damage. This guy takes 6. Um, but is not blown back and this guy takes 6 and is not blown back. Um like I just I just feel like Quinn would 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 react sort of like Rocket Raccoon when he gets his gun back. She's like, "Oh, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, so I just want to tell Arco your, your, like, cloud ring is, like, really messing up my Misty Step. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> well, you could Misty Step, uh, down. I could. That's true, yeah. See if, see if they chase my, see if they chase me. They might. Uh, what is that exactly? Let me look here. 30 feet yeah sure uh and then yeah and then uh having ha having done that quinn will uh whoa quinn will misty step to the south why can't i i'm sorry roll 20 is being horrendous thank you all right cool and then swoop, down that way mm -hmm. all right not bad not bad and I had to drop silence to get the thunder attack off. Yeah. Because they'd be uh, immune. And even though you are casting out of the item, I kind of rule that the components are still valid. You do have to speak a word for it to happen. Yeah, I think... Right. I think... I think... I could look it up real quick. I feel like science, silence just, like, negates all thunder damage anyway. Yeah, it negates thunder damage for anybody inside of it. Oh, Okay. Got it. But if you were still in it, you wouldn't be able to speak the elven word to uh, activate it anyways. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, you're good. All right. Uh, well, this guy's going to pursue you as you just kind of blinked out of his view once he gains. Uh... Uh, Thunderwave pushes them back. Are they also knocked prone? I don't think so. Let's double check. Yeah. Thunderwave. Underwave. Yeah. Um, push 10 feet away from you, and the spell emits thunderous boom for 300 feet. It doesn't okay, say Okay, so they're not knock prone. They're just put back. Although, you know, you can implement a house rule that it does knock them prone. Well, if it doesn't <laughs> say it. Unless they it pushes them off something, and then they fall, then they're prone. Okay, that's my new, like, bucket list D&D thing, is to thunder wave three guys off Somebody a railing. Off a building. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, that guy is going to make a scimitar attack against you. Wow! Nat one. Good job, bud. Um, Good job. As Good he, job, Steve. As he <laughs> as he swings wide, um, I I use my reaction to disarm him. <laughs> uh, oh wait, no, the boxes are difficult terrain. Oh, I should definitely put a dot on this guy. It's gonna get his bearings, uh, and is gonna scoot around the side here and aim his crossbow. At Quinn. Why are they all over me? It's not like I drew attention to myself. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what could I have possibly done? That's a 21. <laughs> oh, dear. That's a that's a big old hit. <laughs> uh, you take... You would normally take 
six, but I believe you do not have all your hit points, right? I do not have all my hit points. So you take an extra two damage, so a total of eight. Wow. From their make and bleed feature. Ooh. They deal an extra, they deal an extra D4, but I average out damage. Sure, so. sure. Uh, this guy... Yeah, no, definitely going to do the same thing. He's going to pull out his hand crossbow uh, and kind of stick his aim on these boxes. Mm -hmm. uh, let me make sure he's in 30 feet. Yeah, just within 30 feet. going to fire again at you. Uh, 16? 16 hits. Okay, that is another 8 damage. Ooh, um, as I take the damage, I kind of yell out, Arco! Let's see... Yeah, no, they can't see anybody in there, so... Just gonna go in there and... They... Their ears are ringing. I flew too close to the sun on wings of wax! Two more crossbow hits. Let's see. Oh, God. Okay, 22. Uh, and a 7. Alright, so you only... We get one more, so that's another eight damage. Okay. Pew, pew. Pew, 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 uh, pew, pew, pew. That Quinn's looking rough. That'll be their turn. Good thing you drank that potion, bud. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Madcap, back at the top. All right. Um, what's going on? I'm just going to... Um... They draw their attention away from the potential body up there. Yeah. So that was still a good call, actually. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, your object permanence. There's about to be another body down here, but we'll we'll deal with that later. <laughs> uh, axe attack. Okay. Ooh. Not bad. Leather Start damage. Attack. Bop. That guy is down. And unarmed strike. Okay. Uh, that hits. That guy's down too. Like a blender. <laughs> you want to get uh, uh, I'm gonna I would, like I'm gonna be here, but I, like hop up on the crate, like right up in his face. Okay. I'd be like, "What you doing there, bud?" Oh, so this is what it's like being normal sized. All right. Um, I'll chop you down to mine. See how you like it. There you go. Ajax. Uh, nobody came into his range. He's like, motherfucker. Um, so he's going to just plow on through and go behind this guy and just lay into him. Wait. I have to use his things because that's fair. Nat one. Not good, Ajax. Let's go again. There we go. That's 13. And then... Bonus action. Um... Hmm... Uh, it doesn't... Uh, nah, that's it. Um, but that guy did not like that. Alright. Pigeon Man. Hmm. I'm gonna... Well, let me measure out my movement. Yeah, I can get there. I'm gonna move right here, and I'm gonna take a stab at um, the guy attacking Quan. Okay. Seventeen. Oh, and I think, I think that, that I think that kills him, right? That guy's fucking dead. <laughs> you're, you're, uh, you're, he's I, dead I, as I shit. Run, <laughs> attack on that one. I run through the fucking uh, fog and like destiny slide and just fucking like slash through him like. Fucking actually cut him down to madcap size. You, you do a you, you do a behemoth titan slide. 
<laughs> exactly. And I'll turn around and I'll dagger attack the guy behind me. Okay. That'll hit for one damage. <laughs> one damage. I hit that a lot. But you do have a little bit of movement left. Oh yeah. I'll um I'll move uh right here to give Quinn an easier time to get it, um flanking. Nice. And that'll be my turn. It is Arco's turn. Cake. Cake. All out cake, Overwatch player of the diamond rank. Wow, he didn't even come to correct me on his rank. Wakey wakey, eggs and cakey. Well then, have you guys heard of the good word of Shiogorath? <laughs> um, I know what to do. You know that Bahamut? He's a punk. Oh. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cake, it's your turn. Uh, oh my gosh, there's only one person left. Can I reach them? There's two people left. There are? Oh yeah, I <laughs> guess he's right on top of Madcap. Yeah, well. Potato, potato. Uh, I'll go here. And I'm going to try to hit this guy. Okay. Once. Okay, that's not going to hit. Yeah, that's not enough. Um. Okay, well, I'm going to go here then. And I'll take... I'll fucking hit, hit me, dude. I don't care. He's not going to do 26 damage. All right, I'll try to hit that guy instead, though. That'll hit. Yeah. 14. Okay. With that, you cave in this man's skull. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, just another Saturday night for Arco Kara. He has, yeah, everybody has what's it called. All right. Now, Madsen's turn. Well, doesn't have any movement. Just gonna. Go over here and just lean up against the wall and just wait for this to be done. It sounds like the fight's almost over. It is Quen's turn. Excellent. Um... Um... So yeah. So um, again, um, I can I, I can't see anything, right? Uh, you now, now that you've kind of gotten used to the the fog, you have an idea of where Arco is okay. more than likely. So by the time you get here, you'll be able to see everything. Oh, okay, so, so yeah. Like if I just go forward, if I just go enough, yeah. I'll see him. I'll be able to see through it. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll find Arco and say, oh, Ar Arco, thank goodness you're alive. I'm 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 not doing very well here, my friend. And you, you can see, you know, she like she like spits blood out all over the ground. <laughs> there are a couple of crossbow bolts still stuck. Yeah, there. it's like the crossbow bolts like just sticking out of like her arm and chest and stuff. When looks like she just got shot by a Minecraft skeleton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then she is going to. Um... Uh, I'm actually going to cast Healing Word at second level on myself. Okay, because that's just how I that's how I do business. How how it do be do? Oh wait a minute, I can wait. I can do it at third level. Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right. Damn, damn son. <laughs> all right. You're getting all the like almost maxed out heals too. Yeah, I know. It's lucky. So you got the 18 there, which was two off of max mm -hmm. for a greater, and then you got two off of max for that. Oh, and that's a bonus. So yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just simply hold my uh, which is Opus, um, just hold an attack. But you, I know could, I you see this guy, you could vicious mockery him if you wanted to. Are you are you coaching your players? Uh, I mean, I'm also just letting you know. You, you could prevent him from having a turn because I will I will I will take the coaching. I'm gonna say 
um, Arco, I'm not doing so well. And then you see her heal, heal herself. She looks up and sees one final enemy standing in front of Madcap. And she says, oh, I see you now. And you look like a punk. <laughs> doing two, a punk. two psychic damage. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a punk. Uh, and... Okay. I'm please, like, please, I, please tell me I got. How am I gonna do this? Got two he suicides. Did. <laughs> he did. Okay, so here's how this is gonna work. So he's like, "I'm not a." It's like, "I'm not a punk," and he goes to like kick the barrel that Madcap is on, <laughs> but slips on the uh, the on the the blood soaked dirt that's down here, and falls forward into Madcap's axe. Wow. <laughs> That one's mine. I claim it. That's my kill. <laughs> and with that, combat comes to a close. I've never been so out of resources in this whole campaign. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. And lag. And lag. <laughs> level level eight. No. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My rule is you ask for a level or you make a joke about gaining a level, I delay the level by oh, one more encounter. No, no one listens to me. <laughs> I, I'm also joking, but... Oh, good. Still. <laughs> I just gotta... Dude, I, I gotta say, Ellis, that was quite the play. Moving your character all the way down here to draw all their attention. Yes. Genius. Pretty good. Hey, if there's one thing bards are good at is uh, running interference. Attention. Yeah, drawing attention. It's looking themselves. tasty. <laughs> looking easy kill. And then you realize they're a college of swords bard. And then they die. Or, or, not, because my college of swords bard could have a 27 AC for one attack. That's what I was saying. Did you oh. you definitely like missed four words that I said? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'm tired. <laughs> it said they they draw aggro thinking like they draw aggro thinking that like the ads think they're gonna die, they're gonna kill the bard, and then they don't. Yeah, it was it was it was close. It was close. Yeah. I was down to 11, so, you know, another hit or two, I would have been Oh, well, uh, well, I mean, the difference between Justin's bard and your bard is that people would have missed Justin's bard. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'll roll your d4 AC for psychic versus... damage. Yeah. Well. You take two psychic damage, Alice. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Um, all right. Well done, well done. It is almost 1.30, so I think we will pick up the interrogation next time. Aw. Aw. So, can we just do, like a, like, a real good listen, just make sure nothing else is coming? Or do we have the DM sure, sure. that's good? Um, uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, group perception check, please. I'll roll for Ajax as well, just so he can get in on it. Sixteen. There it is. How we end. <laughs> I'm, um, you guys take a listen, and at least as far as in your immediate vicinity, you do not hear the sounds of footsteps above you or coming down any of the staircases that you can see. Seems you have a you have a moment. I need a long rest like nobody's business. <laughs> Alright, and then I, I will fight more. Bring on more enemies. <laughs> I, I'm not I, stopping till I'm rolling death saves. I yeah, I was um I was sure that that um dungeon at the beginning there, I was like, oh I'm like oh, I'm like, oh here well here goes the next two sessions. <laughs> yeah, I was like I was just like ready for it, you know. I I don't really like, as a DM, I don't really like running long stretches of walking, checking for traps, yeah. inevitably either failing or having to roll things for traps, having to describe how traps work so that people can find clever ways to disarm them. Yeah. It, it's a lot of work on my end for stuff that, especially with you guys being experienced players, know how to avoid. So... 
that's why I really try to do that sort of stuff. And I also try to do that stuff sparingly, too, because if I am going to do traps, because, you know, peek behind the curtain, if you expect traps at every corner, you're going to always check. So, um, but, yeah, I don't know. Just yeah. The sort of dungeon crawl, trap checking, 10-foot pole poking. Oh, I agree. It's not, not really something that appeals to me. That one was more of a navigation uh, puzzle. It's just like, how much time are you going to spend down there? And yeah. Where are you going to find any of the secrets? Did we miss anything uh, interesting? No, we didn't miss anything down there. I was concerned that you guys were, but um, the I guess the three weeks. Had, had we played that like the week after the Ooh. last session, I'm fairly certain that the... Uh, um, checking the medallion that Cobra had gotten from the other guy would have would have been quick and dirty. That probably mm. would not have been nearly as long as it was. For sure. The way. Yeah. Very this cool. Map, this map template that I used did not scale up very well because this is actually supposed to be like 50% smaller than what it actually is. That's why a lot of the t the squares don't line up very well. Mm. Which is weird, because a lot of the stuff that I got from this person on here, they usually do stuff that's pretty large scale. Alright. Ugh. Well, it's good to be back. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's all I'm gonna yes. say. Yes, yes. yes. great combat. session. Yeah, fucked up the white dragon ball, bitch. Yeah, yeah, that's that silence play was pretty good because that that guy that gave you like a decent amount of time before things got bad. If you had not done done that, like they, you would have gotten swarmed a lot earlier. Uh, yeah, that was yeah, that was really smart. Yeah, like I looked at everything I had planned out. I'm like, okay, so targets in the center. There's dudes around. This whole hallway here is gonna be where where the fight is, mm -hmm. and it kind of was, but it was much more spaced out, which really played in your favor. And then Arco's fog has just fucked everything up. Yeah. Well, it fucked every it fucked everything up in like good and bad ways. Like it made things no, a little bit great. more complicated for you guys, but it also made things more complicated for the enemies because they, they they couldn't really see where you were, so they wouldn't be able to reliably get to you, and they wouldn't be able to reliably shoot at you if they had ranged attacks. So it definitely made them either wait, which then stopped them from doing anything, or they had to fight you on bad terms. So, it's pretty good. All right. Oh. Let's go get some rest. rest. Yeah, I had to be mm -hmm. like seven hours to go hiking. So, nice, That's fun. Yeah. Um, the two a.m. killed me last night. Yeah. Oh my god. I was like, kind of played. Uh, coc for a while yeah i was kind of unhappy all, all morning <laughs> wow climax so against the werewolves and it just took forever yeah but, yeah but then like even after you left go over i think like no it was like sid went into almost like a full session zero like on the next thing <laughs> not really like yeah, really, but, like dude but, that's why the most i'm like i gotta go like i'm done because yeah. like i love kyle he's one of my longest the best friends he can't stop. He doesn't stop talking. No, he just gone. I mean, yeah, it was, it was fine, but I was just like, oh my god, I was, I was like falling asleep. And I was I, and like I kept trying to say like, well, but then something would happen, and I'm just I'm just like waiting. I was waiting like 20 minutes to just just say good night, and finally I just like hung up. I'm like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect, but bye. Yeah, that's why I, I interrupted. Like, I gotta go to bed. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> I I didn't even say I'm going to bed because I wasn't going to bed because I was staying up all night. Uh, I, I told him, like, okay, you should probably go to sleep, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking about him. Yeah. Hey, how about you?